Good evening, everyone. Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. How are we doing today? Oh, welcome. Oh, welcome on in, yo. Dory, congratulations on being the fastest use to the room. How's it going, Dory and me, Dory? Oh, welcome on in, guys. Hello, hello. We have a great stream ahead of us tonight. We are going to be playing in Scription. A fun, um, um... I'm gonna say deck building card game until we get further into the game. <laughs> but welcome on in. This will be a fun time. I've been wanting to play this game for a hot minute, and uh, it feels like it's a good time to play it now because there's a few games coming out next month. So I didn't want to start any kind of really long series. So this is a good time to bust out inscription. Uh, it's a fun deck building puzzle kind of game, and I think it'll be really fun. But how has everyone's a week been? Have you guys been, or what have you guys been up to? Uh, oh, excuse me, I had to burp. Ah, what fun things have I ever, have y'all been getting up into? I have um, oh, my static in Final Fantasy finally killed the bee last night. So there's no more bees until next Tuesday when we have to reclear, and I'm sure that'll be really fun. <laughs> But that was very uh, exciting last night. We finally fucking killed that stupid ass bee. Recovered from walking from previous weekend. <laughs> Did it take you the whole week just to recover your legs? <laughs> nah. <laughs> It'd be so funny if it just took you out for a week. That'd be great. <laughs> Uh, I have an open bottle of Coke next to me and I'm so scared I'm going to swat it and just knock it over and spill it everywhere. I'm going to put the cap on. I don't trust myself. I'm going to put the cap on. I'm going to do this carefully so that it doesn't spill. Okay. Okay. No, 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 don't 07 me. The cap is on. But my knee was being iffy for... The fuck? You are the least graceful cat I've ever seen. That jump is... Archer failed to do a jump that's like... Two feet off the ground? What? What? What the... F what? Poor kitty. He's dumb as fuck. Don't give him pity. He can't... He is, he is Archer the gymnast. Yeah. He's gonna bring us home the gold. You just watch. Fucking 2028 LA. He's bringing home the gold right there, baby. Cannot handle being a cat. Usually it's squeaky failing the easy ass jumps. Archer's usually pretty good. This dumb mother, what? What do you want? If you bug me, I'm just gonna pull you up here to try to make you meow. You know that, right? Yeah, that's right, walk away. Anyways, yeah, he's gonna bring home the gold. Uh, fucking 2028 LA, baby. Archer, Archer cat all the way. Ain't no rule saying a cat can't compete. He's an American cat. I literally had to walk uh, to my grandparents' house one day because I was going stir crazy from having nothing to do. No, pick up a hobby. <laughs> pick up a new hobby. Pick up a third hobby. Oh, I picked up. Um, uh, I was posting about it in the Discord. I picked up Grand Blue, uh, uh, uh versus the the fighting game for Grand Blue because they released the large uh demon mom and i was like i i want to play her so i actually i bought the game like 
Wait, what was last month? What month is it right now? It's August. So last month was July. I bought the game last month when it was on sale for like 40% off when uh, for Evo. And I just haven't played it, but I'm like, okay, well, I want to play it when she comes out. So I bought it when it was like fucking on sale. Oh, excuse me. I keep hiccuping. I don't know why. I bought that shit when it was like on sale sale. Like 40% off is pretty fucking good. And I just haven't played it until now when she finally came out. And I'm like, all right, all right. I'm gonna learn how to fucking play a fighting game because by God, I love watching fighting games and like love uh, 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 seeing everything about fighting games. But I I just, I don't put in the, the fucking time to practice it and I'm just dog shit at them. But we're gonna, we're gonna see if this is the, if this is the game that I'll actually put in time to practice and be good at. Which I mean, like, I know it's a skill I can do because I liked playing killer on DVD for the exact same reasons that fighting games are rewarding to learn. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out that. Cause if I could get good at DVD, then I'm pretty sure I can also then put in the time to get good at a fighting game. Doo -doo -doo. My grandma called the whole family today in WhatsApp. Your grandma knows how to use WhatsApp? Bro, my mom can't even fucking text on her phone. She uses her phone as a phone. If you text her, there ain't no fucking shot she's replying. She's going to call you back. I have so many hobbies, but I think I've indulged in them uh, so much since graduation. It's not m enough anymore. <laughs> Don't worry. When you get a job, you'll be going, fuck, I wish I had more of that free time again. My grandma only sends emojis because she can't type anything else, apparently. My mom just won't text, dude. <laughs> my dad will do it fine. My mom. My mom is not do anything involving a computer, a phone, anything. And I guarantee she's more than capable of figuring it out. She just ain't gonna fucking learn. She's gonna go, I'm too old to learn that. And then just leave it there. I'm like, okay, whatever. If I don't have to work with her on a daily basis, so it doesn't bug me, but Jesus fucking Christ, I have people like that at work and I hope those people just fucking fall in a ditch, man. Do, 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 do. my dad responding okay <laughs> this looks passive aggressive no he's just saying okay he agrees with it that's what i do it's not passive aggressive there's no reason to type more words why use many word when few words work fine see there is there is a value in brevity i ain't going to type 50 words when i can type two letters if you don't respond to okay or thumbs up and that's it, that's literally all I do. What do you mean? Bro, someone sends me a fucking message at work, they can the thumbs up emoji react. I ain't typing anything else. I'll thumbs up it when it's done. There you go. Dad texting? No, it's efficient texting. Thank you very much. I don't need to type a paragraph to say I got it and I'm going to do that. Hi, yes, I'm responding to your text message I received on the 23rd of August, 2024. I am responding to this text message to tell you that my response to the text message is that yes, I do uh, agree with that. And I have seen your message that you texted me on August of 23rd, 2024. Thank you for reading my text message that I have sent as a response to your text message. Is, is 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 that what you guys want every time? Did did I get the point across there? My colleagues use emojis and it's so funny. Do they use them incorrectly? That's that's the that's the better part. Is like they know that like people send emojis in this type of context, but then they go, I don't know what emoji to send, and then they just like Whatever the fuck they do just makes no sense. Well, they are on interesting places or strange ones. What? Oh my God. Have you guys ever seen that? Because in teams on like Slack, I don't know if you use teams or Slack or anything, but like in Slack, you can do custom emojis In teams. You can't, but teams has its own built. There's something in my eye. I'm sorry. But Teams has its own built-in emojis, and they're so fucking stupid, because I don't know if you've ever seen it, but Teams has an emoji that's just like a shark 
with his head hung low that says we got sued where is it put the yeah yeah hold on legal shark <gasps> i found it i found it i found it hold on wait can i get to this without being logged into twitter question mark i need to know we use teams yeah i'm telling you man hold on let me see if I can pull this up. Am I logged into Twitter? I'm not, but I can still view it. It's fine. Yeah, look. You got... The team's got, like, these fucking stickers built into it. It's like, disbarred. Is this fair use? I need a notary. Where's the we got sued? There it is! We got sued! <laughs> and it's like clip art shark. Yeah! Socratic method! <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's great! <laughs> It's just like a collection of stickers built into teams for like lawyers and shit. <laughs> Did you sign? Research time. Time to transcribe. I don't know why they're sharks. Why are they sharks? Why would you ever send a sticker that says overruled? <laughs> why would you send a sticker that just says force majeure? Or non sequitur? When, at what point would you need these? Oh my god, you know what I'll be sending Monday? Are you gonna send We Got Sued and just confuse everyone? <laughs> Wait, will these be in English for you or will these be in Dutch? Beauty. Beauty, 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 beauty. Shh, it's NDA. Just send We Got Sued and then, like, your all of your colleagues will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> sending this to my best friend who has a law degree <laughs> oh that's a good question <laughs> i do wonder oh excuse me i keep i keep burping and hiccuping i don't know why it's probably all the coke i chugged that's probably why that's very carbonated wait i can just shake this and get rid of some of the oh my god dude if you shake a bottle of coke the whole thing turns into fizz anyways if i do that that'll get rid of some of the carbonation um I fucking derailed myself. What the hell was I saying? I don't remember. Something about the fucking weird legal sharks. The coke is fighting back. I know it is. It's like the Jedi. Wait. Oh my god. There's one that says I'm a doctor. And he's holding up the fucking... Whatever doctorate you get for a fucking law degree, man. What does a JD stand for? A Juris Doctor. There. Fucking stupid ass. Stupid ass fucking shit. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's a, <coughs> that's a fucking set of Snickers on Teams. I don't know why. I don't know why that exists. I don't know why they're like that. But, you know, fuck it. Whatever. We'll go with it. <laughs> Alrighty, chat. Are you guys ready to get into inscription? I think it'll be a fun time. Also, I couldn't set any of the settings for the game. Because, um, well, I'll show you. When, when I start up the game, it's this. Clearly, you guys can hear the background noise. It's a play button, and it wants me to click it. So I didn't want to click it, because I don't know what happens when I click it. <laughs> and this is just the first thing I get when I boot up the game. I don't get a settings menu or anything. 
so I guess we'll set up everything afterwards. Anyways, chat, let's get into inscription, eh? Play. Daniel Mullen Game. And Devolver Digital. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Why is it only in my left ear? Oh. Press any button to start. Okay. Hey. Okay. Oh, okay. Options. If I place the card, I do. Okay, I wanted to look at options first. English, resolution. You know what? It looks like it's all set. Pause when not. No, don't do that. That way I can tab out. Hold on. Oh, perfect. Okay, there we go. I can't hit new game. I have to hit continue. But I've never played before. That doesn't make sense. Why can't I do new game? Okay. Table! Oh. Well, hi. your eyes don't quite look at me. They're looking at... Oh. Another challenger. Has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Squirrel! Play the squirrel card. Ooh, whoa, I can mouse squeal scroll, okay. Squirrel! Uh, I'm gonna put the squirrel here. Now, play your stoat. S. Ah, okay. It's a stoat. This? Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. We get to sacrifice the squirrel! Die! An honorable death! Play the stoat. Wolves required two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Don't dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Not a dead squirrel again? Wait, again? Oh, Baldur's Gate? Damn, it's been a while since we killed a squirrel. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. No, not a coyote! Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. No! My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. The creature's health reaches zero. It dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Um... Um, I'll draw from the deck. How reckless of you. Fuck! No! I got a stupid turtle! It's Friday. Where's the sausage video? Well, I haven't done sausage videos in a number of weeks, Faye. No one's here when I start anymore. I'm not going to just... Talk to myself and watch a video in silence with no one. St uh, stupid turtle. How's it going, Faye? Welcome, welcome on in. How's your week been? Makes me sad. I don't know what to tell you. Channel's dying. I got I cut some stuff that doesn't make sense anymore when we don't have an audience.
Because you are learning, I will pass. Oh, how nice of him. Give me this squirrel. All right, squirrel. Time to make a big play. Squirrel. Now it's time for wolf. Guess I'm gonna make Rika watch them all with me. I mean, I post, I'll post them in Discord, but it's just like, like, what am I gonna do on stream? No one's, no one's bit historically, no one's been here for the last few weeks when I start stream. So I'm not gonna just watch it with no one here. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Wolf! Oh, I get notified for his videos? Good. <laughs> Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. Oh, how nice of him. Squirrel! Squirrel. Ooh. It would take three, four, five weights to get it all the way down. Okay. I have to win by five. You've won this match. It won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Ooh, nice music. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. And un the undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Only one may grace your poultry deck. Chat, do we want the snake or do we want the cat? Snake or cat? Hmm. An unlimited sacrifice would be nice. The adder is nice in that it's always lethal. At the same time, it's also very easy to kill because it only has one health. The cat also only has... Oh, the cat requires a sacrifice, though. Hmm. It also does no damage is the problem. So it'll always take up spot on the board. I'll take the cat. Face says cat, so we'll do cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. Squirrel! You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break it in case of emergency. Chat bottled squirrel! I love drinking my squirrels. And to have a second. Do two, two bottle squirrels! So, another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. A pair of pliers? Three is as much as you can carry. I got a pair of pliers. Older. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay. <laughs> You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. Are my cards su- You may now see my moves ahead of time. Are my cards supposed to be talking to me? Now see my moves ahead of time. Ah, so he's gonna play a wolf cub here. No, not the voices! Fledgling. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the... Oh. Oh. There's a boulder in the way. You can't exactly get rid of it before the wolf cub becomes a wolf. That's a problem. What I can, however, do... Need I remind you, your items may help. Yes, yes, they may. Oh, 
my god the flamingo wait oh my god there was a flamingo no not the flamingos okay here's what we do we put the squirrel here right we take the cat we sacrifice the squirrel we play the cat you cannot draw a card on your first turn fair enough now we have a cat that's pretty much protected by this stump we play take the stoat we play the stoat we sacrifice the cat we play the stoat here we go and we attack with the stoat and we deal one damage and the wolf cub comes out and it just find the ambitious wolf cub it ages swiftly yes but it's also blocked by a boulder i can't do much about that He's going to play a bat with two damage and one health. It's flying. What does that do? Card bearing this sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Flurry! Welcome, welcome on in. How has your week been? Welcome on in. Um. Okay, we have a cat. We have a river snapper. I know we have a wolf somewhere. Play a squirrel for now. And we'll just keep the squirrel there for right now. And then... We'll just attack with the stoat and do another damage. <clears throat> you know you can play more than one card per turn. Yes, but I'm slightly out of... The airborne bat flies over creatures who attack directly. Eh? I'm excited for Tuesday, though. Oh, what's Tuesday? My bat flew right over your stoat. Yeah, but can my stoat kill your bat? That's the question. This is a wolf. Squirrel, cat, play the wolf. Kill the bat, kill the stump. He kills that stump. Um, This is another wolf. This, I'll take the squirrel. I'll play the squirrel. I'll take the snapper, sacrifice these, put it in the path of the wolf, stall his wolf for a few turns, attack directly. Me and my aunt are going to the movies to see- I almost thought that said cocaine. I don't know why. I read cocaine. However, you're gonna go see Coraline in 3D? Hell yeah, that's gonna be fun. But it was really cool when I thought you and your aunt were just gonna go to the movies to do cocaine for a second. I'm like, damn, that's hardcore. But Coraline is also hardcore. That's pretty fucking sick. Cocaine bear, let's go! <laughs> Imagine cocaine in 3D! Cocaine in... Yeah! <laughs> Look, man. I glance over. I read the messages really quick. Sometimes certain words look like other words when you're skimming it, okay? Cocaine, Coraline, they're vaguely the same shape. And I don't know, man. I say cocaine way more than Coraline. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that's a good time for you. It sounds fun. Oh, I wish I could get out of work on a Tuesday to go see a movie. Bing bong. This should kill. Oh, it did not kill. That's fine. Wolf, don't need it. Well, three. Fuck you. I'll kill your wolf. Can you imagine watching Coraline in 3D after cocaine? <laughs> no thanks. I don't... Okay. I will take an assumption and say if I was on cocaine, I would not be wanting to watch a movie to begin with. Second, I've also never seen Coraline, so I don't know what kind of a movie it is. Well, I mean, I know what kind of a movie it is. I, I don't know the movie, though, because I've never seen it. But I, I, I can't, I, I, oh my God, look, I've never seen it. I've just, I've heard it's good. I know vaguely what it's about, but it's never one I've watched, sat down to watch. It's an awesome movie. That's what everyone always tells me. And I believe you. But the last movie I watched was probably, 
I want to say the last time I've seen a movie. No shit. Was Avengers Endgame in theaters. That was the last time I watched a movie. Or a line on any kind of drug would feel so fucked up. <laughs> what? Well, I don't. I I don't know what to tell you. I don't watch movies very often anymore. I just straight up don't have the time. Because like, when do I get free time? I'm at work the entire week, or the weekend when normal people have free time. I dedicate my afternoon to doing this. Movie night, and we all watch Coraline. I, I'm not a fan of scheduling movie nights anymore. Could have, uh, I could possibly quote Coraline word by word. I've seen it so often. <laughs> Wait, have you seen this or the Batman more then? You prevailed and trekked onward past the now bloodied terrain. Oh, it's bloodied with wolf blood. Be honest, uh, considering Coraline has been out longer, probably Coraline. <laughs> so more than 10 times then. <clears throat> That's a lot of times. They used to play it uh, around Halloween when I was in school. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, like your school played it? I don't think my school ever did anything like that. A young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Okay, they both require one. Which one is better to get? The wolf cub, if it can stand unopposed for a turn, would be really good. The sparrow, ooh, it has two health. But at the same time, it's only going to hit for one. My school had us watch 2012 for some reason. What is 2012? Is that a movie? That's a year. That's that's just like a year. That's, there's, they, did they name a movie after the year it came out? A school played it during Halloween. Um, primary school tried to... Uh, try to, but there was a girl in my class that was petrified of the movie, so they couldn't. Oh my god, kick her out! Kick her out! Kick her in the head! The movie 2012. The apocalypse? What? There's a movie that they just named 2012. It is so... Like... Creatively bankrupt? I remember watching it in 2012. They couldn't have figured out any other name. Like, no shit, 2012 is the, like, what I think a placeholder title for a movie would be. It's like they never changed the placeholder title. It's like, we're releasing this movie in 2012. We'll just name it 2012 for now and we'll figure out a better name later. And then they just never fucking figured out a better name. It was after the Inca calendar thingy. It's still a no, 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 I'm not giving them an excuse. That's a terrible name. The Inca calendar stopped at 2012 and people thought the world was ending. Not that they just got tired of making a calendar hundreds of years in advance. Inca? Mayan. I'm just reading what was typed in chat. I don't know either way. I mean, we were like under 11 years old, but Coraline ain't even that scary. Maybe, maybe that girl had an overactive imagination and she was like, oh my God, the, the, Coraline monster, are there monsters? The Coraline monsters will come out of the Co Co Coraline place. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the movie's about. I'm going wolf cub. What is this symbol? I don't, I don't know what the movie's about. I can't, I, I can't even make a joke about it. Cause I'm like, it is, hey, I don't even know if there's a monster in it or something. I don't know, man. What the fuck? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Okay. 
We're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Oh. No, not my cat. No, not my wolf cub. I just got you. No, we got to choose the cat or the dog, chat. Parts of that movie can be considered traumatizing, but not by much. Why am I reading your message? Like, uh... Like you're the narrator. Uh, do we sacrifice the cat or the wolf? That's my question. Which one do we like the least? The cat or the wolf? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Um, card game! What's up, Rico? Welcome, welcome on in! How are you doing? Save kitty? Alright, wait, wait, Rika, do you, do you hate the cat or the dog? Choose wisely. The, the fate is now in your hands. Do you wish to kill a cat? Or do you wish to kill a dog? Kill the dog? Okay. What do I click? This. The fuck? I don't know what this does. Um, Pick me. Okay, you said pick you. Look, I'm just saying the stoat says pick him, so I'm gonna do him. The cat is more useful. Oh, okay. I'm just saying my stoat... It says pick. He said pick him. So I'm going to pick. I don't know what this does. Hiya. <laughs> what an honor. I don't know what that means. A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the wolf cub now lies in the stoat. <gasps> oh, so my stoat can grow stronger after it. Wait, what does the stoat become? Does he become mega stoat? What's this? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh, that's a pain in the dick. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. It's okay, Stoat buddy. We'll get him. We'll get him, buddy. He now has more health and can get strength. You sacrifice the one powers to give another. Ah, coyote. And a bat. Fucking damn, this is a lot of airborne motherfuckers. Okay. Squirrel, obviously. Stoat, kill squirrel, play. Back on the board. Get him, buddy. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Yeah, suck my dick. Flying doggos. Nothing can go wrong, surely. Yeah. I need this. I think I just lose. I can't block him and I don't have a I don't have a one drop I can play so no matter what I take two damage this turn which I think just puts me into lethal because I can't block flyers oh he's right I can okay first of all you dimmed the whole screen my items are barely visible Okay, now I can kill both his flyers. He's gonna play another flyer, which is fine. Okay, I got the cat. I don't need to play anything yet. Because this will hit him for five. Which... Oh, I can see at the top. Okay. Okay, so this will hit him for five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that'll put it to two in my favor. Okay, 
winning. You're three damage away from winning. That puts me down to one in my favor. However, um, this is a wolf, which I can't play. So what I will do is I'll do squirrel. Get the cat out. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice the wolf for a snapper, but I can get that next turn. This game is good. So I keep hearing from a lot of people. Um, I mean, we're only like 20 minutes in it, but I'm having... This is a very interesting game thus far. Wait. No, okay, I don't. Because it's only going to be two. So that'll soak it. So that'll put it to three in my favor. Um, it quite honestly doesn't matter what I play here because I'm going to win. And then this is lethal. Yep. I think you'll enjoy it. That's all I will say. I think I will enjoy it too because if, I mean, I assume most of you know, I very much enjoy strategy games. I always enjoy games that make me use my brain, right? Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Ow! Why'd I knock so hard? What is this? This is a free card, right? Yeah. The proud wolf. Vicious contender. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. And the conniving raven. A blight upon the skies. Ooh, that's a one drop. I'm gonna go with the porcupine because I need more one drops. What is a fire? What is this? What do both of these do? Um, I don't know what either of these do, so I'm gonna go here. Oh, okay. Um, well. Cat, meow, meow, meow. Okay, I'll sacrifice the cat. What can I... No, wait. I'm waiting. No, not kitty. Okay, fine. I'll sacrifice the porcupine. Who do I power up? I assume it will replace their ability. <gasps> Turtle! He's the- Turtle's the perfect one to get thorns! Turtle! Okay, this is a fight. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. In the cabin, eh? Wait, in the cabin? Teenage Mutant Porky Turtle. Turtles can them off. One raised by the arts of the... Wait, raised by... Fucking... Raised by the rules of the martial arts? Dude, I do not remember the lyrics. Squirrel. Brand Fur. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, okay. It does kind of cuck me on board space, though. Uh, what the fuck? That's a problem. No matter what I do there, it'll be a problem. Okay. I can't. 
I can't take four. I can't just let him do four. That'll be too much. Oh, fuck you. Trees? Yeah, I know. Well, what can I do about the trees? I can't do anything about them. They're slightly in the way. I do too. No, but I can do this. Oh! That just takes my tooth out. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Ah. I guess that makes sense what the pliers are for. I guess a tooth does weigh something, and you can put it on the scale. Well, this should be lethal. You sure? Yes, this will be lethal. What the f What the fuck? Okay, okay, hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on, you cheating son of a bitch. Hold the fuck on, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. You mother- I ripped out my own fucking tooth for this bullshit? What is this stacked ass shit? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and your mother. I'm gonna fuck your mother. I'm gonna make a fucking- Goddamn son, uh, goddamn brother for you. That's not a cheating prick. Suck my dick. You cheating piece of shit. You've lost. You cheated. Suck my dick. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Candlestick. Whoa! Cool. Why does this clock have three hands? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Flood their chamber with deadly neurotoxins? So true. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. He cheated. He's a cheating prick. How long would it take to brute force three hands? Like, it's like, okay, so in theory, you could just do this, right? There's no button to click and burn. So, so like, in theory, I could just do this, right? Like, how long would it take to brute force this? Pop, 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 pop. As it turns out, it does not take that long to brute force. Does it fit? As it turns out, it did not take that long to brute force. Probably 24 hours. <laughs> There's still this bottom one, though, so I don't know how to open that. Well, we have a ring now. I don't know what it's for, but we have it. He wants me to get... Can I just open the door? Certainly, I can't just open the door and leave, right? This. The table? It's the table we play on. This is just... Yeah, this is just the game table. Okay. What is this? Okay. 
Okay, now how long would this take me to brute force? DM is proposing to me. <laughs> I did get a ring. I wonder what the ring is for. What are these for? That guy's got a gun. That guy's George Washington. That guy fell over and he's got a cool mustache. This one... I don't know what that is. This requires... What the hell is this? One candle's lit on that. This requires a key? A wolf is trapped! Oh, we can spin this? What does spinning this do? I can spin it through three different orientations. Okay. The wolf is stuck in a cage. Only one of these is lit, the right one. Hi, buddy. You, uh... You like what you see there? Yeah? What happens if I just poke you in the eye? Okay. What's this? Knife. Can I take the knife? No. Is that a squirrel holding a knife? What is this animal? Oh! Oh, I got the candlestick. I guess he wanted this. Are you tapping your hand like you're an impatient fuck? Go fuck yourself, buddy. You told me to stand up. I'm gonna look around. Go fuck yourself. The hammer. This is a weird staff. Don't you fucking... Fuck you. I'm gonna walk away. Bitch. There was a hand on this a second ago. Squirrel going for the self-defense after getting murdered lots. I, th I have a feeling we're going to sacrifice a lot of squirrels. Now, sit back down. <clears throat> um, how? Let me explain something to you. Oh. That was one of the two mistakes you make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. How about we reevaluate the word mistake, you piece of shit, scum sucking son of a bitch? Now, where were we? You were being a piece of shit. That's where we were. I'm gonna fuck your mother. Um. What does the fire do? I wanna know that. Cat! I don't need another cat. Um, I would like another porcupine. What does the fire do? You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked up upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, form one of your creatures by the fire, I said. Form it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. I don't think it's going to warm one of my creatures. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling, buddy. Hmm, indeed. What does plus one bite mean? What does that mean? I guess we'll find out. I don't want to sacrifice Stoat Boy, so I'll sacrifice a wolf. Plus. Ah. It did enhance its power. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. 
Without a word, he pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Got it. Okay, I should have done the cat then. This looks like a boss fight. The trees seem to close in around you. Chill mist scented. In the distance, you could hear the hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeah! Twas the prospector. <laughs> prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. The mule's key? The mule is key. Pack mule. Printer. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So it'll move here at the end of his turn, but the coyote is there, so I'm gonna guess it can't move there. Place a squirrel. Five health. He says the mule is key. The coyote has one health, and it's gonna do two damage. I don't really just wanna let that run wild. Um, play the stoat here. Sure wish I had my items. Hmm. I just take two. I think I just take two. Because then I'll be down one. And then I can get a wolf out next turn and kill it. this prick didn't take all of my items for no reason. I don't know if I can win this. I could... I'm gonna soak two. That'll kill me. That's lethal. I sacrifice those two. I play one. I kill a coyote. The other coyote still hits me. I lose no matter what. Okay. So this run is a wash. However, what I can do is accept that we're going to lose. And what I can instead do is we can gain knowledge. And I want to know what happens when I kill this pack mule because I see a bunch of shit under it. So what we're going to do is, uh, no matter what, the only play I can do is I can either sacrifice two, kill one coyote, I still take two from the other, that kills me. I do nothing, the pack mule doesn't die, I still block one with a squirrel, the other hits me for two, I die. Or, I could sacrifice two, play the wolf, kill the pack mule, lose anyways, but at least I find out what happens when you kill the pack mule. Aha! Egg, name it, my mule! I see. Got it. It gives me a shitload of cards. Understood. More gold for me! Yeah! Oh, God. He took me! He took me! 
No, he dug me! Cupid Isle, thank you very much for the raid. Still no raid message, let's go! Hell yeah, welcome on in, y'all. How is everyone going? How is everyone doing? How did you guys enjoy your stream with Cupid Isle? Welcome, welcome on in, raid editors. If you don't know who I am, my name is Droid, your local demon hunter for hire for variety stream editor. And today we're playing Inscription. I've never played this game before. And, uh, oh, excuse me, I had to burp. And we just lost to a prospector. Cause this motherfucker wiped my whole board and took a bunch of bears and took all my items. This motherfucker. Anyways, welcome on in y'all. How is everyone doing? How did the stream go? How did you guys enjoy your time with Keep It Out? And it's Potato Parrot. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. Hope your day is going fantastic. So uh, let's see what happens now that we lose, eh? Every opportunity is a chance to gain knowledge. Well, you aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. It was a great stream. We played Yu-Gi-Oh! And I got hired. Let's go, baby! Fuck yeah! Congratulations on that. That's a good feeling. Hell yeah! Let's go! Hope you enjoy the rest of your stream. I'm gonna go fill out the rest of my application. <laughs> you have fun with that. And congratulations again on that. And thank you very much for entrusting your community with me. Uh, welcome on in, Raiders. Uh, I hope you guys like card games. If you were watching all um, some good old Yu-Gi-Oh, I think you'll enjoy this game. It got cards. I don't really know much about this game beyond that, but I do like me some strategy. Though you may think of it that way, before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Yeah? Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Okay, the cost. The cost of one blood from the porcupine. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Well, clearly then I just go with the stronger wolf then, right? Four power and two health from the wolf. Now, choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Cat! A sigil of many lives from the cat. I never did ask for your name. Um, well. Right. There is now but one final map. The portrait. Oh god! This motherfucker got a goddamn Polaroid camera! Hell yeah! Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Cheese! I'm smiling anyways. Yeah! Here we go again. Another challenge. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand. Oh. The fuck are bones? The fu what? The resourceful opossum costs two bones. Gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. I see. Stoat buddy, you're back. All right, squirrel. Uh, good old trusty stoat buddy. I don't really want to lose you to the rattler. From the death of your creature, you gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. What is up, Wana? Welcome, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. How has your week been? You know, I could have sacrificed the stoat to get another... That would have been smart. Yeah, that would have been smart. 
Bullfrog? Excuse me? Interesting. I can only stall one more turn. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Was I asleep again? Yes, you were, buddy. Work pain's real, real bad. <gasps> Did you get a job? Did you get hired? And then we play the opossum. Kill the rattler, hit him for one. The rattler comes in. My guy is going to... He's going to die, so health damage. I'm down by one. I need five to kill. I think we just go fist, let him die, take a squirrel, play a squirrel. Sacrifice two squirrels, play a wolf. Tap, kill the rattler, hit him for one. We're up by two. Take a squirrel. Don't really need it. Play a squirrel. Tap, kill, lethal. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarding. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper. Maybe interested in your spoils. The trapper? I'm working at a moving company. I used to work uh, at as my first job. It's not something I'm really cut out for anymore, but they were one of the only places giving me the time of day, so I'm back in it. Hey, you know what? At least it's somewhere, you know? And you can always use that time. You can at least have employment while you look for a better employment, right? So you got some source of income at the very least. Plus, I mean, uh, if you're not cut out for it, unless you have a medical condition, you'll eventually become cut out for it again, and you'll get in real big shape. You'll become big and strong. You're going to deadlift couches. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Beside the safe, then. What if I want a different one? Wait, I can put it down. Why? Hey, wait a minute. Okay, so I still have the ring. Squirrel Mantis. Empty board, empty, empty. This is different. This was the game board, and now it's showing me something else. Do I need to replicate this on the board? Do I need to put a mantis here and a squirrel here? With an empty enemy board. So I'd have to do that at the start of the game. Okay. This is shaking. Hmm. I can put this down places that aren't just on the board, which means this is relevant to something. But what? This makes me feel like I'm... Hello. This makes me feel like I'm playing an old school uh, point and click game. didn't change anything, so nothing in there is related. 
don't know what this is for. Okay. I think the key to take away is that this is now changed. What it means, I don't know. If I had to guess, I have to replicate that on the board. Let us continue. The meager coyote. Well, what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler. A brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Yeah, but it also takes four bones, which I'm not a fan of. What's up, Jelly? Welcome, welcome on in. How is your day going? Six bones? Fuck that. To get value out of this, I have to have eight of my creatures die in a game. I don't think the cockroach is the call. Go coyote. How's the game been? It's good. We just started, so I don't really know much about it, but it's a, it's a very interesting game. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. But what does getting up do? I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan for your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possession. Okay, so is anything different? This requires a combination, which I don't know. I could always brute force it, but where's the fun in that? I would rather... I can very well brute force this. I proved that I can do that very easily with the clock. And we got a ring out of it. Don't know what that's used for yet. I would rather find the solution the intended route than brute force it. So, rather than do that, let's look for what the actual solution for it is. Okay, nothing... Unless this is a hint of some sort, but I don't think it is. I don't think anything in here is relevant to what I can do at the moment. This bottom needs to open up, but I don't know how to open the bottom. And I don't see a hint anywhere. Squirrel Mantis. I need a Mantis card to do that. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. A gust may lift your creatures in the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. I can snipe a lethal with this. Feeling overburdened enough with three full items, you carry on. Damn tree! Are you smart or something? Will you uh, bother teaching about bones? Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim. Writing a passcode in the rule book. <gasps> oh, okay, hold on. 273. Wait, 273. 273. 273. Like that. Oh, I can't get up because the map's not unrolled. Okay. 273 in the rule book. Got it. For the combination. Safe. Are there any more clues? Oh, one half. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Spilled blood. Interesting. Failure, hourglass, magpies, pliers. Oh, hey, pliers. You'll place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Yeah, sure. Only ripping out a tooth. Temporary pain, you know? Okay, so there's... Damn, this rule book is huge! That's where we started. 273. Got it. Okay. We'll just have to keep that in mind. Squirrel! Wolf cub, eh? Place the squirrel there. Give one 
HP. Three health. <laughs> Stout. Total misplay. Fuck you. Shut up. Tell me that. Don't make me second guess myself, you shitty stout. Um. I don't remember what the map looks like. I'll just go with this. Wolf comes out. You take one. That's fine. I don't care about you. Ow. Suck it up. Squirrel. Alpha. The fuck? Leader. Creatures adjacent to the card bearing the sigil gain one power. Well, luckily you've got a fucking tree in your way. Ant? Hello? No, that's a spider. The fuck? Get out of here. Two health, one damage. Two health, one damage. Okay. So then... Yeah, that's fine. You'll just kill it. It'll come in. You'll take one. That's fine. I don't care. Um, bullfrog. Summon here. Hit him for another one. Kill the wolf cub before it becomes a full-fledged wolf. Alpha comes in. Stoat gets hit for one. Draw a card. Opossum. Uh, health. Damage. Wolf. Play you. Play the opossum. Kill the alpha. Do another point of damage. Take a card. Coyote. Can't play. Tap. I think that's lethal. Yes. Although I should try to overkill. Um. Go here. Get a card. Oh. The mighty elk it moves after attacking. I want me. Me! Alright, um. What do I have right now in terms of powers? Not much. I have my own card, which I wouldn't want to sacrifice. And I have a bullfrog. So then we go for power up. That's power. Um, I mean, like the best choice here is obviously my own card. Because then it can hit for five. And if I can just fly it, then that's lethal. The power of the Drith was enhanced by the warmth. Then we go here. <laughs> Ever look in the rule book? Oh shit, I forgot to do that. A bullfrog sigil. Yeah, I already know that. It's 273. I gotta remember to actually use it though. Oh, you know what? This will be easy. Well. No, 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 no. I had a thought and I'm gonna say no to that thought. I should not greed. I should not greed. Let's just... We can win this turn immediately. Let's just do that. Okay. So then, this combination was... Two, seven, three. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is... Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? The madness must end. Put that away. And the key. Interesting. The key must be for here. The fuck? Zero out of five. What? One out of five. What? 
One out of five. Three out of Oh. So then that's five out of five. Okay, I got it. skink. I forgot I'd put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck. I'll deal you on every so often. Okay. And I solve this one. Zero out of five. One out of five. Okay. Oh, I see. I can't slide it. Got it. Okay. Two. Two? Two? How? Am I stupid? Three unopposed should be three. Plus one plus one. Two. Okay. Why is this not two? Two. Two. Two still. What? I'm missing something here. One. Zero. Okay. What does this do? That gets one. Why is this not hitting? This is three, two, but it's not doing damage? Why? Hold on. What does this symbol mean? That's relevant to something. Ooh. Loose tail card bearing the sigil would be struck. A tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. I see. So you get hit, and you move to the right, so that means this is always going to get caught. However, if I do this, you can't move to the right. Wait, that's annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. So... And I can't do this because that'll be two and you'll block. So that'll still be zero. So I can only get one from you. I have to not hit you, move you out of the way, and move you out of the way. And that'll get me five. There we go. Worker ant! Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Interesting. Okay, so I got ant. Oh, more stuff. What do ants do? Ant spawner. When a card bearing this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. What does an ant do? Ants. Ant. Value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay. They're fucking... Uh, slivers. Got it. That gets me four. If I do that, that'll get down to three. Again, because you're the only one hitting. Can't move you. 
two. You move to the right. That gets me four? Because two... Wait, if I do... No, because... Oh, yeah, that'll give me five. Aged wolf. He didn't say anything about that, but... I mean, like... That's all wolf in a cage. They have to be related, right? Hi. What does your face look like, buddy? You're always in, uh, darkness here. Caged wolf. How do I free the caged wolf? What is this symbol? What does the arrows mean? A card bearing this sigil will strike each uh, opposing space to the left and right uh, of the space from across it. Okay. So... One, two, blocked, nothing. One, two, three... One, two, shit. Ah, annoying. So this will always get blocked. What if I two, three? How is it higher? One, two, block three. What if I do this? One, two, block, moves over, can't do anything. Should be three still. Why is this two? Two. What is blocking you? Why is this not three? One, two, block. Tries to go over, it can't. Why is this not doing three? Two, two, but it's not. Why? Is it because this, oh. Because this hits that, the sh the Thorns kills it and it does no damage. It's my assumption. So then if I did this, it would also be two. Yeah. Okay. So keep the thorns away. This, no matter what, is going to move over. Two. Wait, how do I win this then? Wait, 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 wait. If I do this, wait, this will hit the thorn, kill itself. It won't trigger the lizard. This will hit one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, cool. What is this? Without having met her. This wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Does it not go over here? I guess I have to meet someone first. I figured it would go, you know, over here, but sure, whatever. Um, okay, so I have this caged wolf card. Can't do anything about it. I have this board set up that I think I need to replicate. Mantis with a squirrel. 
This empty. Nothing here. Okay. I think that's all we can do without playing further. So, let's go to the next encounter, eh? Well, I just clicked a uh, mole. What the fuck does mole do? Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, you're a blocker. Okay. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Yeah, but it's a two drop for fucking only. Yeah, I'll take the mole. I'll take the mole instead. Hmm. Um. What do I want? I don't have. The backpack is out. Um, I have no real abilities. I want to give something. Well, I don't know if I can have two sigils on the same card is my first concern. I guess we can find out. Let's find out. A creature opposing a card bearing this sigil loses one power. Tail. Uh, tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Ant Queen. An ant is created in your hand. Okay. So, let's sacrifice the skink. And let's see if... Aged Wolf. Who do I want to try to double up to see if this works? I don't want to risk... Well, this is only just it doesn't get lost when it's... I'll risk it for this. Can it have double sigils or does it replace the sigil? <gasps> it can have two sigils. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm, I, I dig it. I dig it. Um, And then this is a battle. You again. Indeed! Our friend freed me! Well, I basically told them how to go do it. You got a plan? We have. Another friend here. You've got to- I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Ant Queen! Ooh. Okay. Squirrel. Wait, what is he playing? Wolf Cub. Oh. Uh, just one. It's for one. <laughs> fine. Goddamn right, fine. Okay. That's all we can play. I could play a squirrel. But I can't sacrifice anything for the squirrel. And I wouldn't be able to get bones to play stink bug, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bird is a problem. Got two health. I gotta hit it for two. Or play that, play stink bug. That'll make the go away spider. That'll make the sparrow do zero. The stoat will kill the wolf club, and I will just hit it for five. Oh, that's just lethal. Okay, we win. Bonk. Okay. What is this? We were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Oh. Care to look at me, pelts? Take a pelt, free a charge. See the quality. What does it do? I have four? So, what's the purpose of a pelt? 
I'll buy a wolf coat? Y you're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. I bought one, dude. I don't have any money left. I'll need more teeth for that one. Ain't got no money, bro. Uh, thanks for your business. Man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader down the path would reward you for them. Ah, got it. Okay, so I used my squirrel. I think another item would be useful. It's bleeding yields three blood, if you can ignore the bleeding. The black goat! <laughs> is, um, I already got pliers, I already got a fan, I'll take the goat. The goat! All right, chat, it's prospector rematch time. Oh, my boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you'll either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, how kind of you. And yet you get two. The incessant clank, clank, clanky, reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector! Yeah! Coyote pack meal, okay. We're not gonna make this. What the fuck does this do? Bone King! When a card bearing this sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Ooh, that's pretty good. Walk the coyote with you. You can take the hit from me, buddy. Um, and then I will just get out this frog. Go so many. Oh, coyote going to that boulder, so it's gonna stall for a little bit. Play the opossum. I'll draw a card. Wolf pelt. Fuck. That's useless. Can I play this? Can I use it to block? Oh, I could. Okay. Play the opossum. Rabbit pelt. God damn it. Okay, we'll just block the coyote again with the rabbit pelt. Another coyote coming in. My own coyote. moved. <laughs> Prospector boss, again. Yes, indeed, again. Um, Coyote will kill it. Bullfrog will do one. That'll actually just get me the win. I can win now, actually. Yeah, wait. I'm only... I'm up by four. If I just go now, Pack Mule dies, Bullfrog hits for lethal. And then we've already passed the Pelt Trader, so I don't know if I need to worry about overkilling. But he's got two lives, and this will still... Hmm. Does it give me another turn when he loses a life, or does it immediately go to his? I guess the only thing we can do is find out. Do that. Hit him for lethal. Gives me a bunch of cards. Dang nabbit! He loses one. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. It resets. There's gold in them cards. 
Oh. Oh, you bitch. G -g -g gold! I've struck gold! Motherfucker just summoned a bear. No, that's a bloodhound. What the fuck? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, when an opposing uh, opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Oh, okay. It could be. Um. Squirrel, stoat, sparrow, river snapper. Rattler. Squirrel. You got one health, okay. Stoat. <laughs> Rattler. Kill his coyotes. Bloodhound moves and get him! There's my card. Um, how much health do you have? Three. And you're not playing anything here next turn, so then I'll just play it safe. Kill the stoat. Place you here. This'll kill the bloodhound. I'll hit you for three. I'll be up by three. Can I play anything else? No. Okay. An adder. That's fine. Play the squirrel. Just get a sparrow out, I guess. And we'll just overkill you. And that is the prospector. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah! Hell yeah, chat! First boss dead. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. <gasps> Yay! Ooh, we got an achievement for that. Defeat the Prospector. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a uh, rare card. Choose carefully. Ooh. Do I choose randomly? This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Damn, four? The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. A largely unimpressive specimen. A strange larva. But he grows into something. Okay, Gek is 1-1, one, one, but there has to be a use for him. You wouldn't have a 1-1 one, one card beat. This is like a trap. A 4-drop is not easy to get out. That's the whole board sacrificed. You are not usable in most circumstances. You are a free drop, I just realized. Gek is sus. Gek is a free drop. Get costs nothing to put out. And he's a 1-1. One, one. Strange Larva obviously would turn into something good. So, a free drop for a 1-1 one, one is pretty strong. I think we go with the Gek. Because there's the campfires where we can buff him. And we could turn him into a 2-1 free drop. That means if he's in my opening hand, the boss just immediately takes two damage, right? With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. Oh, it's green now. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. Tread cautiously into the wetland. The wetland! Say! What is this? I want to know what. What is this? 
I want to know what both of these symbols mean. I can only go to one. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Huh. Turtle and the beehive. The involuble, voluble, the involuble beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Bees! The card bearing the sigil is struck. A bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as a one power, one health airborne. Ooh. I can either get one or two bees out of this. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. I don't really like that. Um, out of everything? Beehive. Yeah, because I could take the sigil and put it on something else. Okay, I want to know what this is. You come across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. <laughs> Pick something else. Pick you. Okay, I can select anything in my deck. Right? This is everything that's in my deck. Wait, is it? It is. Do what you must. Stop this. Nope. Um. Choose wisely. Please no. Nope. Do what you must. I want to see if they say anything. What would be the purpose of this besides to thin my deck? implies that something in here will die. What do I want to get rid of? Okay. The pelt or you? The pelts can be traded is the thing. Okay, so thus far, the only card that I feel is actually useless in my deck is the bullfrog. The pelts I will trade for something at the trader in theory. Plus they're also free blockers. They literally cost nothing and I can block with them. The caged wolf also doesn't, it's a two drop blocker, but in that instance, I could also just drop literally any other two drop and it would be better. Not getting rid of the gek. I think it's between the pelts or you, but the pelts have value. You have an unknown value. And every time I draw you, you just sit in my hand. You... I want to save you because I want to imprint your ability onto someone else. I want to imprint your ability onto someone with more toughness, which I don't know if I have. Oh yeah, I could put it on the mole. And then the mole forces himself to get attacked. Which would then trigger Beehive. Yeah, I want to put your ability on the mole. Or I want to put your ability on whatever your name is. The opossum's a bone drop, so he's not useless. The wolf is just a 3 2. That's a solid number. Bullfrog is a 1 2 flying blocker for a 1 drop. He's the one I get the least value out of, right? Yeah, I think I get the least value out of you. Because you just straight... I don't know what you're used for. I got an achievement. Uncage the Menagerie. Free the wolf statue from its cage. What was that? You callously slaughtered the caged wolf. 
However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your... Who the fuck's the Bone Lord? Was pleased by your sacrifice. Ooh, what's this? The Minor Boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra... Bo Ooh, bones! Oh, wait, that means I can get the possum out as soon as I sacrifice a squirrel each time. Ooh. You shook off the viscera of the poor caged wolf and carried onwards. In a fight? Bones! Grab a pelt. Okay, wait. Uh, what are you playing? Bullfrog. Okay. You hit for one with two health. Squirrel, I could win right now. I could just win right now. But I can also greed. <gasps> Dumb. Okay, whatever. There was a better play I could have done. You're gonna play another coyote. Fine. Fuck you. I'll just win. Bitch. Bloop. What's this? What's this? This is a different symbol. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Uh, I mean, one. A random card with a cost of one. Oh, what were you expecting? Fair enough. I do need more one drops, so that's fine. Okay, got it. And this is an imprint? Yeah. Can I do the beehive? <laughs> Can I imprint you onto... The mole would be best, I think. The mole or you, because you make things reduced by one, but you only have two health. The mole has four health, so therefore he could soak a lot of hits and get a lot of bees. Uh, let's go mole. Now we got a mole that makes bees. Don't worry, it makes sense somehow, I'm sure. All right, now I can find out what this symbol is. Oh shit, that's what that symbol is. Ah, uh, what did that do? Fledgling makes all of the bees fledglings. Ew. I see. You're a 1-1 one, one flyer. Okay, so you won't hit whatever I place there. That's good. That's good, actually. Um. That means if you won't attack the Gek, I can place the Gek here and he'll kill you. I can place the Stoat. You're 1-2. One, You're 1-3. Shit, what's the possum's strength? Fuck. <laughs> I don't remember. 1-1. One, one. Fuck. Should've done this the other way. Okay, we'll put the possum there then. That'll get me up by three. The bee will hit, the possum will die. I should've done that the other way. Draw a card. Wolf. Uh, I don't really wanna... Well, actually, hold on. Wait, I'm up by two. 
So I need three to be lethal. He'll die. Or... Or I can just win because I don't want those bees growing into whatever the fuck they grow into. I think we take the victory instead of greeting for more money. I don't know if that's the right play, but it's what I'm going to do. Um, what is this? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Well, do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Oh, okay. Um, dude, a grizzly bear? Ooh, I kind of want the grizzly. I want the grizzly. A wolf pelts too? Exquisite. Oh, Bone King. It does not perish. So wait, don't those two uh, counteract each other then? A bat, a beehive, porcupine, a uh, turkey vulture. Takes eight fucking bones. I don't know if that's worth. There's an ad that's starting soon, so when that plays, I'm actually going to take a small break and run to the restroom. So when that happens, go ahead and go get a drink, go get a, go stretch, go get a snack, do what you need to do. And we will be back once that ad finishes. I won't start the game back up until that ad finishes, so you won't miss anything. I forgot to do that the first ad, but I need to use the restroom myself. So we will be right back once that begins. And also, yeah, you might want to get the Pokemon off the screen. I don't know if you have enough time at this point. Um, I think the Rat King, but I think these two sigils might counteract each other. I don't know how this interaction works, but I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Let's learn. Yo, let's go, Jelly. Wow, these pelts are most exquisite. My thanks. All right, there's an ad that's playing, so I will be right back, y'all. Don't go anywhere or do, but we will return in three minutes.
we're back. What's going on, chat? Jelly, you need to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> the gambling is strong right now. What items do I have? Can't see it on the map. Th th that doesn't fucking help at all. Man. Uh, black goat. I wish there was an easier way to see my fucking items. Pliers. Okay. I thought I would get the hammer after I beat the prospector. What is this for? Can I not pull it out? It's like there's nothing stopping me from just pulling this to the right. Still don't have a mantis, so I can't do this. What's that noise? Hey, has this always been here? Oh, what the f Uh... Oh, that's what's making the noise. Whatever's beyond this door. What is the light being on on the skull mean? Drag you. What is what is this noise? It sounds like television static, right? So I don't think it's like lightning outside. It sounds like TV static. Well, Jesus Christ, your fucking eyes every time. Ooh, wolf! I just yoink out that man's skull? Also, I have a wolf. Whoa, I don't know what you're for. I'll be real, wolf. I just yoinked this man's teeth. Wolf! Did I put you in front of you? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Here. Ooh! <gasps> Knife! You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. It was a squirrel. Though you may wish that you hadn't. I don't know what that means. These are already opened, right? Yeah, so there's nothing inside. Okay. Um, can't do anything here. Can't do anything that I can tell here. Oh, is that what that killing the wolf did? Okay. The achievement makes sense now. I swore there was something there. This, I feel I'm missing something, but I don't know what the time for the bottom is. I brute forced the top and I got a ring. But I don't know what the bottom is and where to get the solution. There's a dagger there now. Unless there's a solution here that I'm not seeing, but if there is, this hint doesn't make any fucking sense to me. There's no clock around here besides the clock that I have to solve. Okay. I guess let's continue on. Um, I maxed out on items. I've imprinted what I wanted. So let's power up the Gek. That's what I wanted to do. Increase its power. Uh, increase the Gek. Wow. 
here. We're going to eat my geck. All right. Now we fight uh, a battle. Okay. Stoat, bullfrog, wolf, squirrel. Dagger. Knife. Hey, did that knife replace something? What does the knife do? Does it say? Ants, one half a bone. That's not helpful. Spilled blood. The value represented with this hill jewel will be equal to the number of sacrifice. Nope, that's not it. Gotta look for the actual item. Fish hook. Oh. Black goat failure. This bottle of goo has. Oh, look, there's a bottle of goo! Hourglass. Magpie's glass. Oh. Huggy bank. You will immediately gain four bones. Pliers, wise clock, scissors, special dagger. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, okay. Squirrel in a bottle. Skinning knife. You may skin one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed and you draw a pelt. Oh. What did the teeth I grabbed off of that skull do? That's not in the rule books. So I don't know what those are for or how to use them or if they're even used in the game. I guess I should just play. Kingfisher? Which is both airborne and a diver, so I can't hit it, which is very annoying. But it also means it will never hit my... Go away, spider. It will never hit my units. And I will never get blocked by it. So I could put... I don't fucking have anything that would be good for it. Um, I can block the coyote. I should block the coyote. Bullf bullfrog. Block with the frog as well. There's only one. I'd rather block the coyote right now. One, three, two, one... Yeah. The stoat will get hit once and it'll go down to one HP, but then it'll kill the coyote next turn. Let's do that. That's the better play. Do I draw? so strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. In the flash? What flash? Eh? Stinky. Uh-oh. Um. Well, if I can't kill you, the best thing I can do is stall you. He'll do zero. Need a better card. Wolf cub. Bullfrog wolf. Um... You're a 1-1 one, one otter. You'll kill the stoat. And I can't hit you. It's very annoying. I'm down two. Attack the stoat. Put the goat down. Counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. So then you're just objectively better to put down. Does it blood carry over? No, it does not, of course. Um it's kind of a waste. This 
will even it out. No, it'll put me one up. I can at least stall a bit. I'll hit for four. Or if I do this, I can hit for five. And I can win. Yeah, this is five. Yeah, this will be lethal. Bam! All right. There we go. Um, go here and get a card. What do we got? River Otter, Beehive, or the Nascent Fawn. It quickly grows into an elk. Um... Do I want a 1-1 one, one that can't be killed? Like, not really, because he also can't be used as a blocker. I don't really like that. I'll take the fawn. I don't really like any of these cards. I don't... Unless I'm missing something, none of them seem particularly useful. But, uh... Let's go here. Oh, I could have took the fawn's ability and put it on someone else. I'm stupid. Plus two health. Um... Who do I wish had more health? Yeah! I'll give you more health. I should have put the power up on Gek, actually. I'm dumb. I should have went here. That was a misplay. Because now we have to fight a boss. And that could have been Gek's secret ability. For all I know. The smoke! A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. Pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. No fish. Oh. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. A third talking card? Where? Where is this third talking card? A kingfisher. Lovely. Squirrel. Smoke. I mean... Sack the smoke, get the bones, put me down. Take the stoat, sacrifice me, can't die, put down the stoat. Take the bullfrog, sacrifice me, can't die, put down the bullfrog. Hit him for seven. And say fuck you. Take out one candle immediately. Go, fish. The fuck? Bait bucket. So he just puts down a bunch of blockers, okay. Oh, hey, a ring. I have a ring on, I just noticed. Elk fawn. Okay. Uh, sack the squirrel, put down the fawn. This will get rid of all of his blockers. Or, alternatively, hey, Stormy Wolf, thank you very much for the raid and welcome on in Raid Editors. How is everyone doing today? How did your stream go? How did you guys enjoy the stream with Stormy? Thank you very much for the raid. I hope you are doing well, Raiders. If you don't know who I am, my name is Droith, your local demon hunter for hire variety streamer. And today we are checking out Inscription. It is the it is my first time playing this game, so it is uh, very fun thus far. Ah, uh, you were playing Inscription as well. Hell yeah! Welcome on in. How are you enjoying the game? And Raiders, good luck with the run. Just finished my run. Oh hell yeah! Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, I've never played this before, so everything in here thus far is new. Um, this is the furthest we've gotten, actually. 
but thank you thank you very much for the raid and i hope you guys enjoy your stay very much appreciate you entrusting your community with me uh i am you got this well i mean technically i could just win now is it worth just winning yeah items are replaceable let's just win Like, items are completely expendable. There's no reason to hold on to it when we can just win. Let me relight your candles. Hey, Stormy Wolf, thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. I hope your day is going fantastic. Defeat the angler. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Strange larva, child 13. Fuck. Or abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? What makes you different from a cat? How are you different from a cat? Something makes me think there's more to this card than what it seems. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome to your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Best card in early game, to be honest, but gotta head out to walk the pups. I hope your run is successful. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your walk. And again, thank you very much for the raid. Um, a pernicious vulture, a tyrant of the skies. The inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. Oh? And the elf. Corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I wish to go here. Which sigil does it take to power up, or does it take both? Ooh. I don't know. I don't really want to risk... I don't want to find that one out just yet. I wish to... Okay, it's either Gek or Child 13, but I don't know which one would be better. Child 13 makes me feel like it has an interaction if you upgrade it. Gek also makes me feel like it has an interaction if you upgrade it. Let's do Gek. Then a battle. What is this? That's the trapper. I don't know who you are. Bones! Greetings. Rat King, Elk Fawn, Squirrel. Okay, let's do Squirrel, Boulder. What the fuck? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. So you'll move right. And then he's got a mole. Okay. Let's do the elk fawn there. He'll come in and hit for three immediately. Oh, 
play for two that still kills you not really worth unless i use you to get the rat king out the rat king will die but it'll give me four bones but it's also take three i don't think that's good you're gonna move over i just realized oh this is not good for me Yeah, let's do that. Don't like that. Yeah, you're gonna die. You move everything over. Do I draw? Possum. Not useful. Fuck. That's a problem. Maybe block. I have one bone. I don't want to sacrifice you for a worker ant. That's not useful. Oh no! Oh, you move first. Okay. Yeah. Let's do squirrel. Elk. Um. Worker ant goes here. Opossum goes here. You're gonna come in and kill the ant. Does it matter? Oh. You'll go down to one. I'll hit you for one. You'll go down. You'll block for a turn. Um. You'll kill the ant and then I'll be in a bad position. At least if you die, no, because then I won't have another backup sacrifice because you'll die either way to the elk. So I think this is the best play. No! Ah, fuck! How disappointing. That was a shit hand. What is this? It's the merchant? I don't know what this is. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Um, a trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of blood. Three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. Or the trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to pass. I don't have super high cost. Not that. Sigil? I would have to draw all sigils, and I... One, two, three, four, five, six. 
not great odds. Well, some of these have two, though. Four power. That probably counts as zero. I would have to at least get a... I think power might be the best bet. Let the trial of power begin. One, one. Fuck! I would have passed the sigil one, though. Ah. Bitch. I need more items. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Ooh. A pitiful opossum. Um, uh, I'll take that. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Um, a battle or a totem battle? Which lead... I don't know what this symbol is. This leads into a backpack. This also can lead into a backpack. This also leads into a fire. Uh, let's go the totem. This seems more useful. Elks, okay. What does that give your, uh, stinky? Great. Two boulders. Bowl man! All right. Child 13. Oh! I see. You become stronger when you're sacrificed. I got it. Airborne 2 1. I see, I see. Yeah, so then we just win. You are lacking. Oh, damn, it takes four bones. Okay. Understood. Now then, what is this? Ah, show me. Oh, I don't have any pelts. Okay, so you're the traitor. Got it. You have none. Do you understand how disappointing that is? I must give you this. Use that to buy some pelts. Do not return empty-handed again. Okay, so you're the traitor. Understood. Um, fire. Because I don't need items. So let's power something up. One damage. Um, let us increase the damage of... Let's increase the damage. I mean, Gek is the best one because it's a zero drop. It's just the best one to upgrade. But like, I have to draw him. And as of yet, I have yet to draw the damn Gek. Like, I still have not drawn the damn Gek. Elk Fawn, Raven Egg. Let's put the mole down. Let's put the stink bug over here. Bonk. Bees! Give me the gek. Okay, child 13, whatever. That also works. B, child 13, place you down. Um, ant queen, you and you, worker ant, uh, don't have anywhere to place you at the moment. Power in numbers, the ant's creed. Elk, raven is a 2-2 two -two flyer. Ooh. 
grizzly bear. Okay. Um. Place down an ant. That'll make you a two. You can't. No, you'll just. Oh, I'll just kill you then. Good. Won't be able to get bees, but I think that's fine. The bee got me child 13 out, which is what I needed. Elk can't come out while that tree stays there, but tree will die this turn. Elk comes out, child 13 will die. Unless child 13 upgrades again, but I can't do that. Play. That won't work. Hmm. I don't particularly want child 13 to die. But I don't see a way to keep him alive. No matter what, he dies next turn. Unless this lets me... Ooh, I could kill the elk. Do I need it to win? Actually might. Oh, I can't cut it because it's not on the board yet. What if I do this? I'll pass my next turn. Okay. If I do this, I can do that. I'm obligated to pass. So then I can draw. I hope it's a good... It's not. That's fucking useless. Okay. Um, hit for two, or I could do this. No, he goes back to sleeping if I, ah, oh, I'm a fool. I see how that works now. Okay, well then I have to kill you. And reactivate you. Put the elk fawn down. The elk fawn's gonna die to the other elk fawn. Okay. Don't particularly like some of these cards. Worker ant. That's useless. Raw. Okay, a coyote. That'll kill you. You'll die. You'll hit me for two. That puts me down. To, uh, okay. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. I did not know that. That would have been useful to tell me. Lucky for you. Thank you for not telling me that, you dick. Goose fuck. Fuck you. Um. I need to get rid of these fucking elks, dude. One or a one. Okay. Well, no real difference here. This will hit for five. Now I got that stupid moose to deal with, though. Yep. Opossum. Um. Put you here. Ow. Bitch. Wolf. Dude, I am getting garbage fucking cards, man. 
Okay, here, I can win with this. Kill your stupid moose and then do that. There we go. Okay, now I know how the other card works. I don't like some of these cards that we've got. Uh, let's go here. Cockroach, a moose buck, turkey vulture. I'll take the moose. It's got seven health. I can imprint, which would also have the benefit of thinning my deck. Hmm. I could do that and thin my deck. Or I could get an item. I'll do this. This. Uh, take the corpse maggots and put it on something high cost. A 3-7 or a 4-6. Probably the 4-6 is the better play. Because you're a 3 cost, but I can get you out by just having someone die in combat. Yeah. Okay, this might be where I lose. Because I don't think my deck is particularly strong right now. A man stood before you. A man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Okay, mole, rat, queen, squirrel, okay. Strange frog! A leaping trap. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Cringe. Strange frogs. Dude, he just starts with these on the field? Gross. Um. Um. Oh. 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 My opening hand is garbage. Okay, well, he did his job and got me a bunch of bees out. And I got the grizzly. Okay, we can work with this. B. B. Whoa. have all of the bees hit for three this turn then they will die which will accomplish only getting a grizzly out so really i want to sacrifice two bees and let one bee die and to do that i would then get i think the rat king would be better to get out if I do that and then do this. Oh, that's gross. I see what they do. On a tra nope, get fucked. Um, let's put a B down. I don't 
don't think that matters where I put the B, to be honest. I do this. That worker ant's just gonna get sacrificed, but it's fine because it'll take out the trap. Get rid of the trap. Kill that. I get four bones. Get rid of you. Get rid of the trap. I get a pelt. Bullfrog comes in. He attacks. Can't sacrifice that, I assume. Nope. Can't draw blood from a wolf pelt. Fair enough. Uh, if I do this, this'll at least kill one of your torches or candles. You're a bitch. Too fast and too soon. I am gonna fucking flip. You are such a bitch. You pulling this shit again? Look at this bullshit. What is this? The game has said you are speedrunning this shit. I'm gonna just spawn a bunch of bears. What the fuck? What? You are punishing me for playing well. You can suck my dick, my friend. You're a bitch. Well, doesn't fucking matter what I do now. You're such a bitch. You're such a hoe. Plus, you all have mighty leaping. God, that's so cringe. You're such a bitch. Fuck you. Rick. You will make an exquisite pelt. Yeah, I bet I will when you fucking cheat. You're such a hoe. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. I'm so angry. Hmm? Where did I put that camera of mine? Can I just not give it to you? Question mark. What if I take a picture of you? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Ow! Bitch. We have a memento to create. You're a bitch. Behold, your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Here's a card that I will draw the cost from. Uh, a zero cost. A cost of free from the Gek. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The number. Three, two, I guess. Which we'll extract the sigils. Uh, all. Burrower and bees! God, that kind of sucks. This card sucks. Never did ask for your name. Well, I feel like the name is important here, but I don't know what name I'm supposed to enter. Wait, what happens if I just like enter Trapper? One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. <gasps> Yay, bitch. You're still cheating, bitch. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? 
Oh, look, a fishing hook. A gift from the angler. See, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. I steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Wolf, stink bug, and... Okay, this kind of sucks. God, you're such a bitch. I hate this guy. Motherfucker. Squirrel and raven egg. Uh, well, if I can get a raven egg, sure. There's more pieces over here. One of these I don't recognize, which I think is you. No, it's you. Are these all the same? Yep, okay. That's not different. You're not different. I don't know what that does. All right, can't do that. What else can I click on? Cuckoo clock. Is this? Hmm. What is that? What is this? What is this actually? No, you may not choose a specific beast. Why? Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Uh, I need a raven egg, so let's go with this turkey vulture. Fuck! Wish for something else? I did. I don't want this piece of shit. What is this? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. Carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose! Um... We'll go all in on flying. Yeah? The old woman barred her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The airborne sigil will now be marked upon all of you. That's useless! What would I want that for? Oh boy, guys, I got flying squirrels. They do no damage. What do I want that for? The fuck? Oh boy, flying squirrels. That's helpful. Against, is that a flying? Oh, fuck you. Free health. Can't even kill you if I wanted to. Useless ass totem.
Boink. Uh, card. Uh. Four damage. Bullfrog. Boink. Oh boy, I love my flying squirrels. They help so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, give me the raven egg. Okay, that's a raven. I need the egg. Egg. Can you give me something that makes my squirrel stronger? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. The gently shaking hand she placed her offerings before you. Oh boy, I can make my birds bird. I can make my squirrels immortal. Or I can make my ants flying. Uh, let's make my squirrels not cost sacrifices, I guess. Oh, no, that... Okay, I thought I was choosing what to get rid of. God damn it. I really wish the game would tell me how the fuck the interactions work. That would be really fucking nice, tell you that much. Fucking useless. This entire deck already sucks ass. <laughs> I just straight up don't even want to play this deck. Our mutations. Uh. Wow. Can I just restart the run? Can I just straight up restart the run? Because this sucks. This deck blows. Yeah, I'm lacking sacrifices for everything. Yeah, good. Kill me. I don't... I don't want to play this fucking deck. This thing sucks. Oh, I can't even alter deck. Thank you for blowing out my ears. Rapper. Uh, how many teeth do I have? Not enough for the golden. Can I get the wolf? Um... Jesus, these suck. Dude, I could put it on the pelt? That's so useless. Um. These options are so bad. I'll power up the stoat. Yeah? All right. Dude, I don't want to play this deck. This deck sucks ass. God, so RNG fucked. God, this deck sucks. We had a fucking good fucking deck last run too, and then the game decided, nah, you're going too fast. You have to lose now. Which kind of really annoyed me. Kind of pissed off that the game did that. Well, they hit for nothing, so who cares? Just draw. Beat up this bird. Rabbit pelt, man. 
Wolf pelt. I can see. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Uh, I don't think I'll win, so here, I'll just take the surrender. Or, I don't think I'll overkill. Card. The Sadistic Pronghorn will be to those that meet the end of its end. And an adder. Um... What do I have right now? Nothing useful. Uh, I think pronghorn. Kind of have to power up the cards. Because what I've got right now blows. Um, power up you. Pew. Hey, Algy, thanks for the lurk. Okay, let's lose to Prospector. I don't want to play this deck anymore. I just straight up don't want to play this deck. It's such dog shit. <laughs> just pop that mule. Spider Pokemon spiders! Do you not like spiders? Do 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 do. Wolf pelt there. Nope. Ah, that's a shame. The spider's friend. Friend spider. Coyote gross. Um, squirrel. Don't you point a gun at me. The spider is a friend. Dude, this sucks. can't even do anything besides just stall damage. This deck literally does nothing. I have to hope I get something good from this pelt. The fuck is this? The fuck is this? The fuck is this thing? Okay, whatever. I'll make a squirrel. The fuck does this thing do? Four. What? The fuck? Can I place a Rattler? I can. Fuck you. Jelly, there's a really cool spider. Uh, mo I don't know if anyone's been watching the new Monster Hunter. Like, bro, you're so cringe. But um, one of the new monsters in Monster Hunter is a giant fucking spider with a rose on its ass. It's like a big ass rose, and it just looks so cool. I'm very excited for the new Monster Hunter. Okay, this is just gross. I can't do anything. Don't, no, it's cool, Jelly. It's gonna be a cool monster. This sucks. This sucks so bad. Big ol' spider with a rosebud during Monster Hunter streams. No, you gotta embrace the love, the monster hunter. 
What does this do? Knife? Ah! Ow! Ow! Damn it! That hurts! It's my eyeball! Hey! My eye! I needed that! What the fuck? My eyeball! My vision's fucked up! Man! How many bones I got? I don't even know if that was worth. I don't even know what that did. My eye! Your gold nugget can't be sacrificed. I can't even see! What does this cost? Two? My eye! Game is cringe. I have no clue what's happening. I can't see. <gasps> Need a light? I don't know. Did you light it? I can't see you doing it. <laughs> the right side of my screen is just black. I have no eyeball. The reward? I don't know. I have no words left for this freak of nature. Good luck with goth Pokemon TCG. <laughs> Long elk? That's an elk? What the fuck is this? That's not an elk, you liar. The stalwart mole man. The ultimate defense. How is this an elk? You explain to me how this is an elk. Uh, I'll take the weird elk. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Ooh, this one looks glowy and magical. Oh. Ooh. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Oh, better? Regardless, the choice is final. Good thing I joined after the dagger. I literally just used it. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector. You gathered yourself and continued onward. Let me think. The air grows thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfall. You beheld the wetland. Find salvation in the cuckoo clock. Okay. Ooh, wait, hold on. What's this? I don't know what that is. I've already done this. Oh! The stunted wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now! What are you doing there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Nothing. I just have a nice little roll of film. I don't know what that was for. The stunted wolf told me to take the film roll, though. And who am I to not listen? I, I still don't know what that does. We found salvation in the cuckoo clock. When a wolf tells me to do stuff, I listen. You know, when has a talking wolf card ever led me astray in life, truly? There's no reason to not listen to a talking wolf. Is there anything secret hit, uh, written in here that I can see with the eye now? No. Also, why is the rule book only written on the top, like, one-tenth of a page? You have a whole-ass 
rest of the page you could write on, you know? Okay, so there's nothing in here. Page flipping ASMR. So true. What is up, Tabby? Welcome, welcome on in. I'm gonna guess this is just blood that's been dried. I still don't have a raven egg, so I can't do whatever the fuck this wants me to do. I've tried to get a raven egg. Uh, you're the merchant, right? That's the only chance I have of saving this deck. This deck is dog shit. Are your pelts clean? I don't know. Air pelts. Please give me something fucking good. Mantis, not useful. Oh, cat. I'll take a cat. Um, a fuck is beaver. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to health. Hmm. What bosses have you encountered? Um, well, first of all, it's really bullshit what happened on my first real run. We beat the prospector, we beat the fisherman, and then we got to um the pet the trapper, and I blew out one of his candles, and then the game said you're going too fast, and he did the cheat where he just fills the board with fucking grizzly bears that have air block, and that made me really salty because the game said you're speed running this too fast. And I'm like, that's fucking cringe. Why would you do that? And it kind of forced me to lose. So now we're on the second run. And I'm like, you just punished me for doing too well. You are fucking cringe. And now this deck kind of sucks ass, to be honest with you. Um... Too OP for the game to handle. My first deck was really good. Let's get the Mantis. Wolf Pelts! <laughs> With an exclamation mark. They were really excited about that. A cat that makes ants? What? I mean, sure, but what? A ringworm, a rat king that up. I kind of want to see what happens if a rat king upgrades. A flying elk? Dude, I don't know about any of these combinations. Three ants. Rat emperor. Yeah, what's the rat emperor? There's no free ants. They all have a one cost. Like, I mean, it'll make ants while it's uh there. But it's not free ants. And I also don't have a deck that's built around ants right now. I have nothing here that synergizes with ants. So it would make an ant, okay, but I'd have a 1-1 one, one ant at that point. I don't think that's worth. If I had a deck that had ants, right, but you can infinitely sacrifice the cat, but it's not when it's sacrificed. It's when the card is played, it makes an ant. So that's not infinite ants. That's one ant. If it was when this card is sacrificed, yeah, sure. But the card is only going to get played once. Or if it bounced back to my hand. Actually, if it bounced back to my hand and it was a free drop. Although I do have another cat. We could just bounce those back and forth. But either way, I'd need a way to return this to my hand. I really want to know what a rat king becomes, though. I I'll be real. All of these options kind of blow. This one's the funny one, at least. I can see what... Well, actually, this one's arguably the better one. Because it's a one drop that you can get three from. This one's actually the better choice. I want to see what a rat king becomes, but... That one's just... I think that one's objectively the best choice. Oh, oh no, you can't use that. The fuck is this? A 
fuck is this? The fuck is that thing? The fuck does that do? He just says you can't use it. What does it do? I'm gonna click it. Fuck you, game. Click, 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 click. What does this do? It's a lad. I'm gonna use it right fucking now. Squirrel. Look how useless my fucking squirrels are. What a thank you. How has it been? It has been quite... Why are you different? I am trapped in the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. Why are you a... Uh, TV? Why are you a TV? Is that a TV? What the fuck is this? Cat! What is this? What do you do? I am serious. You cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice? Avoid it. What? what? Stone TV? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that that's a good one. Ringworm, worker ant. I ain't gonna let you fucking get ants out. <laughs> Back on the board. Here we are. So that'll do four damage. Okay. Boink, boink. Don't like what that looks like. That's so Raven. Oh, wait. Fuck yes. I'm just going to win. I ain't dealing with whatever that bullshit was. I'm just going to win. Okay, what is this fucking weird goop that I just found? Where is it? Where's the goop? Where's the goop at? Goop! Keep sealed. I can't, I can't, I ain't gonna stop me. I can't read. The pain is unbearable. Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Keep sealed. I can't read that. Could it be? <laughs> you have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magn- That's- You- Your name is- There's no fucking way your parents named you Magnificus. There's no fucking shot. You had two people who had a baby and went, What should we name him? Magnificus! No, you are some fucking narcissistic fuck that gave yourself a dumbass name. Magnificus? Ain't no fucking shot your parents named you that. Magnificus? Can you see me? Can you free me? John Magnificus. <laughs> I understand! The master is free! Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. A fisherman! Oh, I see you have. Oh, something special up your sleeve. Fear not! I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you'd get a chance. It ain't gonna be this fucking run. I can't free you. And his assistant. Todd Amazington. <laughs> oh, the agony. I don't know how to free you, dude. I, I, it's like literally just a cork, but apparently I'm too dumb to pull it. I don't 
don't know what the point of freeing you was, but okay. <laughs> or or picking you. You didn't tell me anything useful. It just says keep sealed. Okay, whatever. <sighs> I don't think I have any teeth. I don't have any teeth, dude. I'm broke as fuck. We like just met. Um. Uh. What the fuck is this? That's a mushroom. What does that do? We don't want him to escape confinement. It's okay. I'm too stupid to pull a cork. It's like not even wedged in there all the way. You would literally just have to pull it. It's not that hard. But apparently, I'm just fucking stupid. Uh, I really don't want to do a totem fight now. I don't wait. Do I need to sacrifice anything? Do I need to thin my deck? Do I have anything I hate? I hate bullfrogs. I'll tell you that. Why are you a TV? It makes no sense. Is it because I fused the stink bug to you? Is that why? I don't get it. Two health. Yeah. Um, you must respect to the rules of the people you never met. Okay, fine. God. What do I want to increase the health on? These all kind of suck. If anything, I need more damage. My damage blows. You fused your two talking cards? I had nothing. Look at my deck. Half these cards I just got in the last like five minutes. My deck blows ass. I had nothing to fuse. This deck is actually dog shit this time. I don't even know what to increase the health on. I mean, wolf cub, because then he'll upgrade and he, I, I'll get a, a, what, a three, four wolf? That's not bad for a one drop. Or I could sacrifice it for three health. I don't know. Turkey vulture is fucking useless. I'm never going to get eight fucking bones. Long elk. Yeah, I guess may as well keep long elk, elk as long. May as well keep it alive as long as possible because it doesn't need damage. It insta kills anything it touches. Man, get this fucking stump out of here. I love my flying squirrels. They're so useful. Yeah, what happens if I die? Because we ain't fucking making it to the end with this uh, deck, dude. I don't know how to tell you this. We're not making it to the end. We're just straight up not. Bullfrog, a one, two. Okay, uh, what are you? You two. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Kill the fucking stupid... Was this bullfrog? What was that noise? Dude, fuck you. You're a dick, you know that? Longhorn Steakhouse. Does the adder insta kill a stump? You count as a creature. It does. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it is. Um... 
Oh, that was bad. Um, I have to do this. Kills move and kills. Probably moves back. Probably the best play. It's not a good play. die no matter what because you're gonna get killed by this adder if you're gonna die no matter what you won't even damage him this turn you'll just kill a snake but i could get rid of the snake and the rattler in exchange for and then i just take no damage but then another rattler will come in kill kill his turn rattler moves up i take three anyways yeah, I don't want that. I'd rather have two adders on the board that are hitting me for one rather than a rattler hitting me for three. I don't have any good options here. I have to draw something good. Or I could play a... No. Well, I could play a stoat. Play a stoat, kill that, I'll get hit for one, hit him for three, so that's net two. Go up to there. Yeah. Oh, suck a dick. Stall. A bitch. Two. And I can just win. Okay, there we go. Oh, the fuck is a mushroom? What does the mushroom do? You, yeah, that's how I feel. The adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Beehive and the beaver, the industrious beaver. When played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. Oh, it's a two drop? That's so gross. Dude, I do not need a one one that cannot block. My issue is I have no blockers right now. I'm getting the beaver. What does a mushroom do? What is this? <laughs> Oh, hold on. One second. I have a nosebleed. Yeah. Okay, let's just deal with that while we continue. It'll stop eventually, surely. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. Dang, you okay? Yeah, I think it's just dry air. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? As long as you're not concerned, nah, I'm not. It'll stop. It just depends on how fast it stops. Hmm? It's nothing more than an annoyance. 
it's more annoying because I'm streaming. If I wasn't streaming, I would just stuff a, uh, um, what is it called? Um, a, uh, tissue up there. But then what does it make me sound? Oh yeah, it makes me sound like this. I sound really nasally if that happens. So there's that. We are the mycologists. Yes. Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from, from. We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock. Yeah, wh what? No, you're not welcome anywhere else. Why are you welcome on? Nah, you know what? Fuck it. My cards can't get any worse. We will need two. I don't know if I have two of the same, to be honest. One for each of us. Okay, well, to be fair, I don't think I have two. Oh, dear. You, you don't. Yeah, I don't. You have no duplicate cards. Uh, take one of ours. We will use it next time. And as long as you give me a duplicate. Cat! Okay, wait. Do I need two cats? That's two spaces on the board. I don't think that's worth. How many two drops do I got? I have a lot of two drops, don't I? Uh, I don't want another two drop is the problem. But I also don't want two cats. But this will it double my chances of drawing a cat. But if I draw two cats, that's useless. Ah, uh, which one, which one, which one? I have too many damn two drops. This is, this is bad for deck economy. This is just not efficient. Oh, dude, these choices, this run suck. Um. But if you sack a cat into a different card. Yeah, but I already have a cat is the thing. I don't need two cats. Because then that's two spaces on my four spaces taken up by cats, right? Uh, I'll take a cat, whatever. But you're right. I could sacrifice the cat on the altar to then give it its ability to a different card. You're right about that. Is one of those even coming up? Up there. I gotta go through this battle first. Which is snakes are... <laughs> Game, you can go fuck yourself. Quick, flying squirrel! Look how useful that is. I love this totem the gave, ge game gave me. I love my flying squirrels. That rattler is so unfair. Yeah, just a bit. This is kind of stupid. I, I've, I, like, this run is just doomed. This run is just straight up doomed. So dumb. Fuck you, game. Go fuck yourself. And it gave me a wolf. Okay. <laughs> like, wh what? Be a shame if you hooked it. That's about the only thing I can think I can do. I certainly can't do anything with this. That's literally the only thing I can do right now. Long Elk. Wait, why do you have a face now? Where'd your face come from? You fucking weird ass card. Long Elk, my guy. Fucking weird ass elk. Bing, bing. Try 
Rattler, Kingfisher, Turkey Vulture. That Rattler didn't get to keep its flying, did it? I didn't get to keep that Rattler, did I? Man! I was hoping I did. Cringe. Um... Six fucking bones? Dude, I don't like these bone costs. Why does this have a... Oh, because it's duplicate. I do not like these bone costs. I, I ain't generating this many bones to begin with. I'll go Kingfisher. I don't know how to use these cards. Like that just straight up doesn't seem like a good combo to me, but maybe I'm stupid. never made it a key part of any deck yeah i just don't see value in it like on the opponent it's really good because obviously you can't kill his attackers but for you when you don't have infinite cards coming in off board it kind of kind of sucks to not have a blocker what do you want the fucking invulnerability or the infinite sacrifice it's either you or mantis gonna go on a one drop that's more value you're like a dedicated blocker so i don't want to put you you i can keep out of way of harm in a in theory and have you hit double spaces um the beaver yeah i mean to be fair i didn't have any great options to choose for the damn beaver either oh i don't like most of these i'll give it to you just no no you're just the worst choice over mantis Okay, we lose here. I don't have anything prepped to beat this guy. We just straight up can't beat Fisher right here. This deck is not going to beat the Fisherman. Go, fish. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm not going to win. You're getting some bad RNG. I'm getting really bad RNG this run. It's actually terrible. This RNG is so dog shit. I'm not even joking. said no not this run this run was doomed when the first thing was a totem that gave me flying squirrels which is like oh boy that's really useful oh fuck you you're a prick What happens if I sacrifice the card he's gonna hook? <laughs> Pressure, fish. Oh, you're a dick. put a squirrel down for him to take yeah i'm gonna assume he goes for whatever's the recent one
I need a squirrel because I can't play anything. Does he just do it every turn? I wish I knew how the fuck his AI worked. Um... Dude, I just want a new deck. Fuck this. Let me see. He won't take this one, right? Okay, he won't. I don't even care. I want a new deck. Uh, oh, fish. Yeah, go fuck yourself. How about that? Am I like creeping into the room? What is this cutscene? I would like a momento. You don't even have a good fucking cards to build this with. Uh, here, one cost from the Kingfisher. Use its power and health. Oh boy. Gee, do I go with the one, one, the one, three, or the two, three? Choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. Uh, long elk. Bullshit. Fuck you, game. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Blonk. Are you ready? Ah! I forgot to smile. Fuck! No! No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey, I still have the film. What are you looking at? Nothing. Looking at my nails. Guys on me. What the fuck? You're weirdly obsessive with me. Dude, go away, bullfrog. That fell stunted wolf. He's asleep. You really want such a creature in your deck. The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. You're the only one not smiling on picture day. Look, I'm gonna be real. I don't think any of these guys are smiling. Hey, do I still have my fucked up eye? No. Wolf cub squirrel. Huh? What is up, Faith? Welcome. What does this stupid thing do? What do these teeth do? I never figured this out. What's up, Faith? Welcome, welcome on in. How are you doing today? I do not know what these teeth do. But I'm going to take them. I haven't been able to do that before. What does that do? Fills up smoke in here. The fuck did that do? I've never been able to blow out that candle before. It's been a minute. Good to see you. Good to see you, Vaith. How you been? Welcome on in. I love that even if there isn't voice acting, it still has an audio cue and it feels like it adds so much to the dialogue. It does. What does blowing out that candle do? I've never been able to do that before. I also don't know what this does, but I mean, I'm going to do it. Low tone, he makes his personality. What, the, the weird goop monster? True. Super sick from work stress? Oh, no. I hope you're getting better from that. We're getting better. Hell yeah. We're getting fucked. What is... 
What is this? What the fuck is this? What does this do? What does this do? The fuck are any of these? Oh wait, this this is choose cost. This is choose type. This is just choose a card. I hate randomness. I'm gonna choose a card. Worker ant, alpha, sparrow. Four bones, not terrible. Um. Do we want to see if we can get an ant deck up and running? I'd love to see an ant deck actually do something. That requires building for ants, which is very RNG based. And we got fucked. Okay, certainly the game doesn't RNG fuck us twice in a row, right, chat? Right? It certainly won't do that twice. It's not gonna RNG fuck us twice in a row. Surely. Right? Right? Two health. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What if we make a really strong ant? What if we just go all in on the ant, eh? Eh? What is this? What does this do? <laughs> Let's go, Andron! <laughs> I don't know what this does. I'm gonna go here because I don't trust fighting a fucking totem because the totems are bullshit. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. And... Okay, I have a bunch of one drops. You're just a bunch of flying fuckers. And... Bonk. Ow. Oh yeah, that's bones. <laughs> Go, my ants! Ow. <laughs> we meet again. Oh, honking zone, honk honk. What's up, stop? Welcome, welcome on in. I can't do anything, right? No, I can't. Bonk, bonk. Squirrel! Dude, I need damage now. <laughs> I need fucking damage. Oh, I shouldn't have played wolf this turn, actually. I should have waited. I don't know what this is. I want to go here in case I get an ant. Taco Roach. Adder. Adder's not bad. What if we put death touch on an ant? Eh? I'm just saying, what if we go for a full meme deck? Surely the game's got to reward us for that, right? The decrepit wood... Oh, yeah, totem. Okay. Um... I mean... That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Look, free cats. Free cats. Now I just need a whole bunch of fucking really strong. Dude, go fuck yourself. Face my ant army. Uh, does one those areas. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Doctor, doctor, doctor. It's three health. 
Oh, fuck you, bitch. Wait, you're flying! Oh, you're so cringe! Fuck you, die! No, oh, now he's on my squirrel. No! That heck a powerful ant. We're just gonna keep boosting this stupid ant. Watching this with zero context on how the game works is an experience. Choose your insect. Oh, wait, he just left his defense open. Three. One, two, three. Oh, I win. Okay. Hey, look, a wolf. Um, well, I can overkill by one at least. Bonk, bonk, bonk. So it's basically, it's a rogue type game that's deck building at the same time. And then um, I can explain how the damage and the stuff works next time we get to a battle. Magpie, the covetous magpie. If you catch any car, ooh, wait, what? That's pretty good. Oh, it's a two drop. Wolf and the prey, the fervid mantis. It's prying claws strike both to the left and right. Ooh, another one drop. So the blood cost is how many sacrifices you have to make. So one means you have to sacrifice one card to play it. Two obviously means you have to sacrifice two. Squirrels, for instance, cost zero. They don't have a blood cost, so you can play them whenever. Um, number on the left is the attack power. Number on the right is the health. Uh, if you hit a card, it loses health. That health is um, consistent. So if you do one damage to something that has two health, it'll have one health next turn. And then, like, this symbol means it hits to the left and right instead of directly in front of it. This symbol means it, uh, I can search my deck for any card and put it in my hand. The wing symbol means it flies, which means it just ignores blockers. It can still be attacked, but it will ignore blockers and directly hit the opponent's life, uh, total. Um... Let's just go for more one drops. Fuck it. Why not? Two health. I was hoping for attack power. Okay, what if we power up the mantis? It's very exotic sounding based on bugs and animals. Yeah. All the cards are, um, based on, like, I don't know, I guess they are all just kind of critters, eh? Okay, let's see how this dumbass meme deck is doing. Infinite squirrels! Very well paced IMO. Yeah, it is. Health two. Oh, they won't hit you anyways. You can kill that. The downside of this is I'm not getting um bones. That is the downside. So stink bug kind of useless right now. Draw a card, man. Mantis. Okay. Why does your opponent have bug eyes? Because he's a weirdo. <laughs> like, just straight up, he's weird. Adder. Not actually useful right now. Um... I think if I do this, I win, right? Because uh, one kill, one, two. That'll do two, and that'll win. Because it resolves left to right, I think. So then I just win. Yeah, cool. So 
we go to the trapper. Yep. No, but, God damn it! I hate the controls for this the damn shopping shit. The game could really do with just a simple confirmed dialogue. Oh, good. More power. That's actually what I wanted. <laughs> Mantis, one power is actually two power. Mantis, 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 Mantis. Yeah, that's what I was looking for the last time. The smoke. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Prospector. Fuck you. Squirrel! so good it just feels silly yeah he swapped his head cosmetics on you <laughs> yeah he just swapped it mid-round he's like i don't like this hat anymore <laughs> um oh boy a worker ant can you get rid of this boulder for me, please, guy? Ah, shit, I didn't want to kill you yet. There's gold in them cards! Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Well, he got rid of the boulder, I guess. What if instead of one boulder, you had four? Oh, boy. I love that. Yay. You know what? It's fine. You know why? There's a reason I didn't play the fucking Mantis yet. I shouldn't have put it there. I should have put it here. But I wanted to kill this- Ah, uh, I could have ki killed the pack mule anyways. Damn it. I wasn't thinking. That was stupid. A mule! Curse you! my squirrel what do i have in my hand yeah i have a squirrel <laughs> you're gonna type that right because if i allow that term that opens up the door to certain slurs and i'm just not gonna do that just type nuggets even cross my mind yeah i'm like eh, if i hit allow that terms in the allowed list and then that's gonna get abused if i was smart i would have put the fucking mantis in the correct spot but i'm dumb so here we are I need to draw a card first okay fine i'll draw a squirrel Can 
I do here? What's the best play? Thank you. Yeah. And then just block. Oh boy, a squirrel! Damn it, I'm committed. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Wait, okay, you're, this, his damage clearly doesn't, oh, it changed. I, I have no fucking clue what that symbol means then. I have no idea what the hell that is. One HP, um, do I have a squirrel on me? I do. Oh wait, I have you. Oh wait. Mm. How much do I need to win? One. Then I can just do this, right? It'll hit one, kill. Yeah. Stop making me draw squirrels. What's up, so? Welcome on in. How are you doing? And then that's lethal. Boink. Chillin' hell. Yeah, have you played this before? I am so encrypted, so true. So VT true. Dude, I actually got fucking the game. I got so far on the first run. The game said, you're going too fast. And then the AI cheated and spawned a full board of grizzly bears. And I was like, go fuck yourself. Ah, oh, but I've seen playthroughs. Ah, the mantis god? The holy mantis god. A perfect incarnation of terror. Where were you when I was powering up the regular mantis? What? what does this do? When a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty space. The chime is defined as zero. Why would I want that? What does Gek do? What the fuck does Gek do? He's a one one zero cost. But like, is that useful? I don't get it. He's gecking out. Oh my god, he's so gecking out. You know what? You're right. I think I'll go Mantis God, though. But, like, what is the purpose of Gek? I don't get it. Like, I guess if you power him up? But that's, like, a lot of work to make a... Like, the last time I got Gek, I literally never drew him. So, like, I just straight up don't know what Gek is used for. Because the last time I fucking got him, I never drew him ever for the rest of the run. So I couldn't even, like, use him. Um, This way goes to a campfire. I want to get campfires. All right, what are my options? That's not happening. That's probably not happening. Sigils? That might happen. Three sigils is the most likely. Okay. Fuck! Fuck you! Suck my dick! You suck! Man! Okay, let's get the fire then. Give me damage. Give me fucking big damage. Hell yeah! Mantis God! Ba -bom. He is the glassiest of glass cannons now. Ants ha- oh, you are fucking cringe. Oh, 
Oh, you are cringe. You can't just hit me with that and leave. <laughs> Can't hear you over lethal. <laughs> so really just got hit with the skibbity so and then sh and jelly just pieces out. <laughs> so, 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 so. When are you gonna, when are you gonna get, uh, when are you gonna get Grand Blue, eh? Eh? Yeah? Yeah? You wanna play Grand Blue? for giving me that power <laughs> no worries <laughs> you totally want to play grand blue right Ooh, i need a training partner man damn but that shit 50 dollars. you know what that's true but like it was on sale i told you to get it when it was on sale man It'll be worth it. I mean, it's pretty fun. I like it. Or you could just play Grand. He's just a Shoto. Uh. Get a new card. Oh boy, another Mantis. Ringworm. What do I want? Cockroach. Uh, perishes. A copy of it is created in your hand. You know what? I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put that ability on Mantis God. And I'm going to do that plan right fucking now. <laughs> Unkillable Mantis God! <laughs> Uh, okay, now then, what do I want? Uh, do I need items? I mean, fuck, I may as well get items. There's, I don't need to destroy. Do I need to destroy any cards? No. If anything, my deck is already very thin. Um, but if I go that way, I might be able to get some more bugs. Like ants. Ooh. I see a key for it that's four dollars okay wait four dollars is pretty good i don't know where the fuck you're finding that but like <laughs> g2a my goat let's go baby wait 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 is it for grand blue versus rising or is it for grand blue versus because rising is basically number two don't buy the first game Okay, that's why? <laughs> there it is. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. Um, Versus Rising, Steam Key, Global, sold out. Womp womp. Wait, um, Versus Rising. Is there any... Hold on. We can, we can check this really quick. Is it on sale anywhere? Nope. Well, not according to this website, at least. I was like, wait a minute. $4 seems really low. Um, yeah, if we go here, we might, but then we have to thin. I really don't want to thin my deck. The deck is already pretty thin. At the same time, I could get rid of this stupid frog. Oh, I could get rid of stink bug. Stink bug's not super useful right now. Or I could just get more one cost. Eh, let's just go here. Oh, fuck you. I didn't want this totem. Give me Mantis God. Yeah, baby! Mantis God! You know what? All is right in the world. You know why? Because we just win. Okay, there we go. Easy. And just be twink grand i'm telling you grand's just a show he's just ryu he's got a fireball he's got a dp he's got he's basically just a neutral 
Look, I... <laughs> DP say less. <laughs> Dude, a lot of characters have a DP, to be fair. But I need someone to practice with because I'm dog shit at fighters. Even if you've never played that game, I guarantee you're going to be better than me. But I need someone who's better so that I can practice and actually get good at a fighting game for once. Uh... See if I have space for this shit. I don't think it's too big. Should I get more one drops or should I get two drops? I don't have like any worthwhile two drops. But at the same time, my one drops are kind of goaded. I think I should get more one drops. Wolf cub, I'll take it. Because he just turns into a two drop if he lives. Items. I literally have no space for items. Pack rat. A prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I don't know what this does, but okay. Squirrel. Go away, rabbit pelt. Uh, ringworm. Ant. Ant. Ooh, I don't like two ants. That's a problem. Yeah, they're going to come in. Kill my wolf cub before it even becomes a wolf. So that's not really useful. Um, oh, this option's gonna suck. Okay. Oh, but I don't want to take up this middle space. I'll just have to sacrifice the wolf cub. Have you done any of the walking around uh, the room stuff yet? Yeah, I have. I've done a lot of it. And I've done it to the point that I think to progress, I now need to beat the game. Or at least I need to beat the dude. Oh, wow. I mean, we've been playing for four hours. Mantis. That's what I wanted to see. Um. Well, use a rabbit pelt to block. Not like it does anything fucking else for me. <laughs> Oh, I forgot there's overkill damage. Oh, he has a mantis. Worker ant. On their side of the game. Ants are cringe. I'm killing your fucking mantis. Fuck you. No queen ant. I haven't found any ants besides this one singular worker ant. <laughs> gonna take two damage. Fuck. He's also gonna kill that squirrel. This draw sucks. Eventually, I've gotta get a good fucking card, right? All right, but Bullfrog? All right, but fuck you. <laughs> All right, but fuck you, so. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do with this? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Okay, let's think this through. I use the squirrel. I... Use the squirrel. I play the bullfrog. So block, bullfrog, and kill. Squirrel dies. 
bullfrog lives this ant li lives you die bullfrog kills you ant blocks or squirrel blocks you you hit me for three i still die i hook two two i hit for four I'd have to blow all of my items. And I don't think that's worth. But... Squirrel, block, bullfrog, kill. I hit for one, I go up by one. Down three. He hits me for th two, actually. That's still loss. Actually, he'll hit me for three because this motherfucker will come in. But still doesn't matter. I tear, tear out my eye. I don't even... I don't know how much the eye is worth. I don't think it's worth enough. Uh, I think that's the best play, though. Squirrel dies. I stall my next turn. Because I even if I draw something, I won't be able to play it. Everything is dead. I'd have to use all of my items to live. This is dog shit. This is the worst... Can I see my fucking deck? Because I know what's left in here. And it's all of my fucking good cards. I pulled all of the bullshit first. I have to use everything. The only way I win this is if I blow everything. It's either use everything or just die, I guess. Yep, it is. Oh, wow. There he is. He's a shit. Fucking late to the party, are ya? You know, if you showed up one fucking turn earlier, we wouldn't have been in this situation. He's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> Uh, you're the traitor. I have a pelt. I would love to get this fucking pelt out of my inventory. Pelts! What the fuck? That's a shark. I didn't know you could get a shark. Ooh, ant! I'm gonna get an ant. How's the run? Uh, it's going pretty decent, except for that last battle where I got RNG fucked and I'd use most of my items. But otherwise, it's, I guess it's fine, question mark. I would love to see health. I'll take damage, but I would still love to see health. Anyways, I have this. So, I mean, that's cool. Insta win card? I don't know about that one yet. Okay, if it's every other turn, then he doesn't do it on first turn, right? I assume he doesn't do it on first turn. Kingfisher flying. Oh, you're a bitch. Um, squirrel. Mantis. Uh, smoke. Wolf cub. Bullfrog. One, two, three, four. No, two, four, five, six. Overkill by one. So we immediately go to phase two. Now he just puts a bunch of chum. I get a big old wolf. I can't play anything, so he's gonna take a card. I think he'll take the frog, because it's the most recent. 
Uh, let's just clear the board. Oh, you're a bitch. I see. That's fine. Back rat. Okay. Uh, two, four, five. I win. Boom! Fuck you, Fisher. Bitch. That went so well. That went way better than last time we found him. My man didn't get to play the game. Good. Fuck your man. He's a bitch. What does Gek do? What does strange larva do? I do not understand the purpose of Gek. Gek, what does Gek do? I don't get it. Did we find out what Packrat does? Oh, I should have read his ability. I don't know what Gek does. What is the purpose of you? Gek, why is everyone love? I'll take Gek. I don't know why he's good. Why do you guys love Gek, or is it just a meme? I don't get it. Both Gek and Strange Larva both rule. Two very good cards, Gek. Why? Why is Gek good? I don't get it. What is the purpose of him? He's a zero drop. I get it, right? He's basically a squirrel that can hit. But that doesn't seem that great. Health six, damage four. Pile of bones. Okay, definitely not bones. Um, damage for zero blood, I guess. But like with infinite squirrels? Oh, I'm not gonna win this no matter what. I have the best chance with damage. Two, two. Okay, ant counts as one. Yay! Go past the trial. What the fuck is this? Burrower. Ah. Bone King. Stinky. You know what? I'll take this because you're three sigils for a one drop. Fuck it. Whatever. Um. I don't want to fight you. I would love to thin the deck, but I don't want to fight you. I'm going to go this way. Or a campfire. Uh, and you've got a crazy powerful card that costs nothing. Yeah, I guess. Um, I'll take my free squirrel. A squirrel goes a long way. Is this a zero drop five blocker that then turns into an opossum when it dies? Frozen away. What is frozen away? Perishes. The creature inside is released in its place. Okay, so then, yeah, I do want this. Squirrel. Pack rat. What do you do? A card bearing is played. You receive a random item as long as it's, as long as your pack is not full. Ah, I see. Worker ant. Okay. Squirrel goes. Fuck me. Squirrel goes here. And as much as I would love to destroy this tree, I'm not doing it because I have mantises. And like, if I pull a mantis, it would just be objectively better to put a mantis there. Okay, I have a gek. Ant maxing. <laughs> I've got two ants. <laughs> That's so Raven. Ah. 
Uh, please pull something good. Fuck you. You're so cringe. You're so cringe. messing things up a little bit. Give me something good. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bruh. stab myself. I need to buy time. Rip to your eye. Yeah, it's not the first time I've sacked an eye. It won't be the last either. Can I pull something good, please? Oh, for fuck's sake! Dude! A good fucking card. Thank you. Holy shit, this game hates me. I hate the RNG. RNG is bullshit. RNG is absolute bullshit. He called your ass not worthy. Yeah, for real. I'm sorry I got RNG fucked because I literally can't draw a decent card. You know what? Next time we get a fucking deck thinner, I'm thinning this fucking deck. Some of these cards are dog shit. You love Bullfrog so much. Bullfrog can eat my entire... Wait, what is this one? Bullfrog can eat my entire ass. One, two. Does that count as two? Yes. I have no fucking idea what this is. It's a two drop, but I have no fucking clue what it scales on. It scales on... Hot. I don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, I don't even know what you scale on. It's just like you for real. <laughs> Scaling off of pot. <laughs> but I mean like it's an actual pot. I don't got fucking jars around here. I think. Elk would be the best? In an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil would move to that space instead. Yeah, I think elk will be best here. Going to a campfire. Or health. Uh...
Okay, you have... You have unkillable. Like, I don't think I need to boost your health. Man, what the fuck? Why y'all got mediums? <laughs> what? Oh, you mean medium? Oh, oh, light, heavy gang. Oh, yeah. You got me light, he medium, heavy, and then um special, yeah. You, we, we also got auto combos. You can also skip motion inputs by just holding R1 and then pressing um, a direction. The only downside to doing that is if you do a, uh, if you do um, a simple input for a command outside of a combo, it does 10% less. But if you cancel into it from a combo, there's no damage, uh, there's no damage penalty. So it only does 10% less outside of a combo. Um, what was I? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't need to increase Mantis God's HP. He's immortal. I'll just summon another one with my infinite squirrels. Um, Gek on the other hand is a free drop that I can actually make into a real blocker. Let's level him up, I guess. Maybe we'll actually draw him for once. I have literally never drawn Gek. Maybe this will be the day I can draw Gek. Oh my god, I get Mantis, Mantis God, and Gek. Game's over. Or at least this round's over. Well, you're just fucking dead now, aren't you? Teeth! Um, I would love to see a trapper. I'm gonna be real. Do I have any duplicates? Nope. Two of three drawn card. Nope, that ain't gonna happen. Bones, that ain't gonna happen. Wisdom, that's the most likely one. Nope. Oh, fuck yourself. Useless ass cards. Um, I don't have any pelts. I don't have any duplicates. I guess go here. Oh, you're the wood carver. Never mind. I'm dumb. Um, I don't really want any of this, to be honest with you. I, I, I like my infinite squirrels, thank you. Stupid tree, get out of here! I have three items. I could pack rat it. Elk fawn, elk fawn, that's cringe. Stank ass. I could stank ass it. Mm. I guess that? I don't know. It'll just fly and hit it next turn. Oh boy, there's the mantis. Mantis can't even fucking. I'll do one damage. I'll kill an fawn. One damage is not enough. Um. I'll do this. I'll put the mantis there. Start hitting that tree. Get it out of the way. Mantis God. No such luck. Squirrel. Ant. Hit it for one. 
That doesn't even kill you. You hit the tree. I would love it if you kill that tree. That tree needs to get the fuck out of my way. Okay, now we win. Watch, <laughs> now I get Mantis. No, I get your stupid ass. Okay, now we just win, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I'll hit for two and that overkills by one. Plonk, plonk. I would love to see the trapper, but not as a boss. Ringworm, grizzly bear, and an elk fawn. Uh, I'll take the grizzly. I'll take one high cost card. Get a new item. Ah, uh, this. I don't even get the smoke, man. I don't know if we're gonna beat the trapper. It depends if we get a good oh, revenge. Squirrel. Elk fawn, stink bug, bullfrog. I'm so lucky to have gotten that draw. The stinky kingfisher. It is pretty stanky. I don't want to put Mantis God down because I know it's... Oh, wait. No, no, no. You're, you're immortal. Who cares? Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? He'll just come back to my hand. Bonk. 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 Oh, that, that doesn't even kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> Mantis God just murdered a man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, look, a grizzly bear. Does this work like this? That's funny. That's funny. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Man, just God might as well just grab that trap and threw it at your friend. <laughs> yeah, basically. He's like, here, catch. <laughs> All right, this frozen opossum's about to die, and then Mantis God's gonna die. And then I'll take one, but that's fine. And then the grizzly bear hits for four. Oh, yeah, you want me to draw, don't you, bitch? Bonk, 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 bonk. That's a big overkill. All right, what's your gimmick? Exquisite pelts! The cycle must continue. He flipped it over. Let's trade. What? Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. What? Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Oh, oh, damn it. Every other time it's clicked to advance the dialogue. This time. Okay, fuck you, game. How do I know what you trade for what? I I don't. Um. 
Okay, whatever. Uh, give me this grizzly. Give me this moose. Uh... Bat for two? Yeah, sure. Give me the bat. One pelt for every card. I see. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, look, a grizzly. Hey, look, Mantis God is back. <laughs> you have fallen for my trap, Batman. That's actually, that's actually a really funny ass combo. Uh, yeah, that's my turn, right? I can't do anything else. Bonk. This time you have the wall, my grizzly bears. Ignite. Defeat the trapper and the traitor. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Child 13, amalgam. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid. The amalgam is all. And strange larva. Um. I don't know what any of these do. Wait, I know what you do, and you're useless to me. I don't need another unsacrificable. I don't know what you do. Are you just a 3-3? Three, three? Strange larva, baby. What is strange larva? What does strange larva become? Is it useful? All right, strange larva or amalgam. Child 13's useless to me. That thing's a piece of shit. I hate using it. It fucking swaps back and forth. I don't know what the purpose of Amalgam is. I don't know what that does. He's just everything. What's the what's the benefit of that? Strange Larva, I actually have no fucking clue what you turn into. But I mean, it's a one drop. I can get infinite one drops. You gotta find out with a fine. I will choose Strange Larva. I don't know what the fuck it does, but sure. With the enigmatic trapper and traitor now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. See a light in the distance. If a totem, it's guaranteed. Oh, that makes sense. The end is near. A moment. Oh. Um. I don't have any pelts, so I don't need to go to you, right? Yeah, I don't have any pelts. So you're useless to me. Am I stocked on items? I don't think I am. I think this is the most useful. No, I am stocked on items. I'm stupid. No, I'm not. I mean, you're just going to give me a free win. Your eyes affixed themselves on the small cabin. Its warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Oh? Do I move forward? Oh, I do. Hello, random hand. Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. 
the trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I do. Trial of the Finn. And the trial of... I have a ring. Let the trial of the ring begin. Oh. You are aware of a fine ring. You pass, of course. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game. And you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning. Oh my god, yes. Boon of goat's blood. You will start the battle with a black goat on the board. Not as useful. Boon of the bow. Okay, yeah, I want double draws. My problem is I'm not drawing my cards that I need. The trial of rarity. Three drawn cards must include a rare card. Uh, I don't have a sprinter. And the wing. I don't even think I have these two. I think this is my best bet. Yeah! Mantis God, baby! Success! Your choice of boon. The boon of Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck. To That's really good. The boon of the Forest. You will start the battle with a Grand Furs on all of you. The boon of goats. No, I want this. If I can double draw and draw any card I want. Yes. Although I don't know what the gimmick for his phase two is. If it wipes my board, that's really cringe. Does his phase two wipe my board? I want to know that. You managed to get both of my boons. Yeah, but does his phase two wipe my board like fucking Prospector does? I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Because if so, then drawing my powerful cards at the start is a trap. But I don't know. So it's kind of annoying. Because I don't like shit that just insta-kills that you can't play around. Like Prospector. He's fucking stupid. Oh, God. This is what you look like? Ugh. Dude, you look weird. Took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? He looks itchy, all right. I hope you're adequately prepared. A smoke. Oh, you're such a bitch. I'm sure you'll have one turn this hobo. I don't know if he's going to insta wipe. That's the problem. I don't know if he does that. Oh man. He's got six defense. Mantis God. He's got one. He'll hit me. I'm going to put squirrel over here. Put Gek here. Because if Gek attacks, Mole Man will move in and then he cucks your Mantis God. swap through all of your phases. Understood. So I need a squirrel, obviously.
well, not like I can do anything. You're a fisher. Yeah, please pull the gold nugget. Okay, you're gonna pull the most recent. So. on the board. Yeah, you are. Um, also, I want to get rid of this fucking... But I don't want to burn everything, because if you go Prospector again, that's really cringe. I should have put stout there. I'm stupid. I'll just take the one damage. Take out one candle. Stumps! In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Bullshit and Reginald. Oh, hey, look, it's the old ones. Wait, Reginald? I don't remember that one. I remember that one fondly. Who the fuck is Reginald? I remember bullshit. Who the fuck's Reginald? I remember him. Give me this adder. Let's see Strange Larva. You guys love him for some reason. Oh, wait. That's a bad idea. Strange Larva's gonna die. Oh, no. He has three health. I thought he had one damage. He has zero damage. Strange Pupa. God damn it. So useless. Doo -doo. Contraire? I don't know what he does. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Does he have a gun? Oh. Now that is value. What does this do? What the fuck does this mean? What does this shit mean? It has 40 health, it has mighty leap, omni strike, a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Title lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels, 
into its orbit. Okay. Mothman! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mothman! <laughs> what a goofy ass card, dude. It's got seven damage. <laughs> That's my guy. That's my goat right there. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I see what Mothman is good for. I understand. I understand. There's one damage. I'm gonna guess if it pulls the squirrel, it goes up. Hello, good buddy. Good to see ya. <laughs> good old Mothman. All right, fine. Fine. Mothman is fine. Ugh. And I guess that increases its damage by one. No. Kingfisher. So Mothman will get another turn at least. Does it only do one damage? I guess if I just fill my board, it can't do much, can it? I just win? Is this lethal? 369. Damn, where you're fine. Uh, it's... Yeah, that's lethal, isn't it? Oh. Well then! Destroy the moon! Bonk. You really destroyed the moon. Did I, like, actually destroy the moon? Because if so, that's funny. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Um, what, you want me to draw? Do I really have to draw? Hello again. Do I really have to draw? Finish him off! <laughs> Gonna kill the moon one more time, god damn! Is, is his camera around here? I feel like I'm supposed to grab the camera. But I don't see shit. Okay. Oh, I can't see! Help! I'm scared of the dark! <laughs> Defeat Leshy. His name was Leshy? Enduring. Oh Did I just. I think I just beat him! The oh. fuck is that? Oh! Well, I got shot. Ah! Uh, found film, found footage, baby. Cam works. Ah! Uh, the fuck just happened? What the fuck is happening? What is this? Hello? Oh shit! Oh shit! Indeed. What the fuck is this? Okay. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch what? Monsters packs and digging for what? that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! Let me pause the ads. I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. What, okay, what the ladies fuck and is happening? I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. He's gonna pull a hollow. What is happening? Ooh, what do we got here? Transcendo! I don't... Okay. I don't know what's going on, but I'm here for it. Rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly... Yeah, Birchkin! It's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Am I watching YouTube right now? I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure you what know. they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. You're weird. Let's don't don't start here. being a Minecraft YouTuber. He's gonna pull cards? a strange rare larva. We'll see. What and the? F our rare for this pack is. Come on, Leshy. Band dog. What is a band dog? Oh, Woo, really band dog. Woo. Next pack, here we come! 
Dude, I love that ringtone. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. yeah, band dog. This is what? Almost half a month later. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of inscription. Yo, that's this game! That's this! Now, not Wait, all he's playing this game. thing! I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but... He said the name of the game! Before, not really much to lose. This is actually like a that YouTube said, analog horror, kind of. Mantis God goes for a couple hundred bucks, so... Yo, Mantis God, that's what I got! Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. The fuck is Blue Mage? I never got Blue Mage. Not going to be worth very much. I never got Blue Mage. What is Blue Mage? I want that. What we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened. And oh, resealed? we've been scammed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. We've been scammed. That would suck. We got scammed. Come on, people. Honestly, who opens and reseals a pack? We got scammed. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks. Like Nobody scams the lucky the Carter. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Where the fuck is that at, guys? This guy's gonna uh, fucking die? Nah, he'll be fine. I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> How do you fucking know coordinates, like, in your head? Okay, well, given he's in the fucking forest. All right, you guys. I'm out here. Living my best life. Got yeah. My trusty headlamp. Fuck, you got a shovel. And shovel. Okay. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. We were playing a card game, right? There we go. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive place to Oh? Uh, air? Um... Okay, he got sucked into the game. No! Normal card gamer behavior. Yeah, you know, if you just found a resealed pack with coordinates on it, why wouldn't you go check it out? All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Oh, his battery died, Every I see. Time. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay. Is there gonna be a weird cabin in the woods he finds? Ads are going to play in 10 minutes and I'm out of pauses. Um, if we, if this lasts long enough to get to that point, I'm going to pause the stream while those ads play out so that no one misses anything. All right. This is it. Oh, dig. <sighs> and now we dig. Sure. This man's going to die. This man's gonna fucking die. Oh, hey, that's a box. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. That sounded what? hollow, unless you know of hollow rocks. I don't know if to, how to tell you this, but rocks ain't hollow, bro. That shit reverberated. What the fuck? Is that? Oh my God, you guys, I can't believe it. 
there's actually something here. Imagine he just gets jumped in the fucking uh, woods. A floppy disk? Who the fuck uses floppies? What? What the fuck? Who uses floppies, dude? Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Yeah, I'm confused too. Who the fuck made something on a floppy? That's what I'm saying, man. Who the fuck uses floppies? Cheaper than a foil steam ball, really. All right. A man actually has to buy a floppy fucking wow, disc video. reader. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. How old is this that it's on a fucking floppy, dude? Inscription, press any button to start. Oh my god, it's a video game. Look at that mouse. Yo, that's the game we were playing. Hey, look, he also can't press new game. So that wasn't just me. Yo, this is where we started. Okay. Stop browsing footage. Well, there's no other footage to browse. I think that's everything, right? Unless I'm stupid. Yeah, I think that's everything. What is this a plate of? I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. Ah. Uh... Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. I don't know if I want to eat it. Very well. Come with me. Huh? Stand right there. Oh god, you're weird. Uh, hi, Leshy. I'm gonna just take the camera now, buddy. Hey, who gave you that? I did, you absolute ingrate! Give it back! Boop. What? Hey, I made the Leshy card! Let's go, baby! Bitch. Bitch ass Leshy. Can I leave? I can't, can I? I have to do whatever this fucking seizure inducing light is. Well, it makes a weird noise when I go up to it. Well, let's find out what this does. Hello? 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 Where'd the light go? Am I dumb? I don't get it. Missing something. What am I missing? can walk to the sides, but then nothing. 
and it's dark. I can walk to this side, but then nothing, and it's dark. See? What can I see? I can see a light, obviously, but if I click the light, nothing happens. Nothing here. Can't walk to the side here. Walk backwards there. Walk backwards here. So I'm in a small T-shaped room. But I cannot go forward. Why? A light, but I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Nothing on here. Not like hidden in here, is it? No. Light, light, what is light hinting? Um, is this art screen? Let's save. Not in there. There's an ad upcoming, which is really going to break the flow of this. And I don't have any pauses left. I used them all for those uh, videos. I'll give you a hint if you'd like. Yeah, sure. I don't know what to do here. No, uh, uh, if you want to give me a hint on what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. Because if there's something I'm supposed to be seeing, then the screen is too dark. Because I can see wood. What's the object you just picked up? I actually don't know. I, I also don't know how to use it. <laughs> if there's a key bind to use it, then I got no idea. I picked up... What did I pick up? A camera? But then how do I use it? You said something is missing a bit ago? Oh. Uh... Did I? What did I say was missing? I don't remember what I said. Besides light. I can't see light. Camera flash would be great. Action you previously couldn't take has just become available. I see. So it wasn't by accident that I couldn't click continue. What does new game do? There's unfortunately an ad that's about to run. I didn't realize it would do this when I hit that. Renewal, start a new game. I just got an achievement. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is until the day the scribe. Okay, now it's getting even more dumb. Hey, look, it's Leshy. Each had their own method of inscription. To create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. 
Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. BO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. What? And Magnific used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. I hate that fucking name. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. A challenger? Is that me? A fuck? Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. What? Um, I'm gonna wait for the ads to finish until I do any more, because we were kind of in a forced cutscene that we couldn't really get through. So I'm gonna wait until the ads are done to uh, continue on <gasps> with this. Excuse me, I had a hiccup there. That was weird. So uh, we're gonna just wait a few moments. Do, 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 do. Actually, you know what? This is a good time. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick while we wait. So I will be right back while these ads play, chat. PP time. Indeed! I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back, but the ads aren't quite done, so I'll just wait a moment. Beam. Wow. Alrighty. Okay, now the ads should be done. Sick. And I don't have to pee anymore. Sorry about that. I ran out of pauses, and I didn't know clicking new game would do this. So anyways, um, choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. This. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics? Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology. Oh. You can get the blue mage! <laughs> become the scribe. No, I don't want to be Leshy. Leshy looked fucking weird, dude. You're a moron. Become the scribe of the dead. Um, wait. Wait, why did Leshy have Magnificus's eye? I mean, obviously, I'm sure I'll learn that later. But, like, now the question is, why did he have a different scribe's eyeball? And his uh, supposed servant. Hmm. Um... I'm gonna guess that this chooses where I start. Good questions. Thank you, so. <laughs> Let's do Magnificus. Such a dumb fucking name. I cannot understate how stupid of a name Magnificus is. Don't you have your friend's eyeballs in a box? Is he, is it my friend if I have their servant? 
as a jar of goop that I say don't open and also their eyeball? <laughs> don't respect my goat Magnificus. It's a stupid name. Either his parents are fucking stupid and named their child Magnificus or this narcissistic son of a bitch when I am the great, uh, well, I'm pretty magnificent, Magnificus. Taking his deck. Cards were added to your collection. Describe of magics to you, sir. Well, bitch, I took his deck. Now it's me. Dryfificus. What the fuck? This takes me back to Leshy Town. Where the f He was just playing a whole new game. Yeah, I really am. Um. Pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. We received a beastly card pack. Mole, that thing, hawk. Hawk will strike an opponent directly. Oh, okay. Meat bot? Wait, these are new. Meat bot is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Oh, interesting. Take the rare, I guess. The cards were added. Oh, I take all of them. Oh. Okay. We're actually playing a new game now. New game was really new game, huh? Chat? I think we're gonna have to continue this next time because this looks like a lot of shit I just got myself into and we're way over my normal end time. <laughs> new game? Yeah, actually. I think it auto saves when I go to a new zone, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, so chat, I'm sorry we're gonna end right after an ad, but inscription part two, yeah, kind of. I, th I just realized there's a fucking hand down here. Look at that. That has to be uh, Grimora's area then. Okay, but I think we're going to be ending here. And oh dear, oh no. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. Uh, so I'm going to swap on over here and turn the music back on, eh? And I think that's where we're going to wrap up stream for today. Because uh, we've been going for a while. And we made some great progress. I am very fucking confused about everything we just saw. So... I have to say, this game is fantastic. I didn't know much about this game going into it, but I have been very pleasantly surprised thus far. So thank you, thank you very much of everyone for hanging on out. Thanks, uh, this stream has been so fun. Thanks for hanging out. Hell yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, chat, we will be back. Uh, I will say we'll be back with more inscription next Friday at the same time. So we'll be starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but our next stream, we will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And what we're going to play is the schedule said V Rising, but I'm going to change that up for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to play Tactical Breach Wizards. We're going to be playing Wizards with Guns. That is a new game that just came out, and I've heard nothing but good things about it from my friends. So we're going to be trying out Tactical Breach Wizards. Yo, I saw that shit. Yeah, it looks lit. We're going to be playing it tomorrow. I bought it today. Everyone I know who has played it has said it's fantastic. So we're going to be checking that shit out tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And that'll be a good time. And then Sunday will also be back at 2 p.m. Eastern time with Dave the Diver. I have heard it's a great game. I've heard nothing but good things about Dave the Diver. Definitely well-known quote-unquote indie game. But I have heard it's a great game. So we're going to be starting that on Sunday. So we got a lot of cool games coming up this weekend. So you don't want to miss it. If you're new to the stream, hit that follow button. To, uh, I would love to see you guys around again sometime. Along with that, join the Discord. 
exclamation mark discord into chat to get the link or it's down below in the about section on my twitch page we have a fantastic community i'm active in there every single day i post a schedule at the start of the week so you know what's going on and you can sign up for notifications so you never miss a stream again and it's a great time uh and i want to make it a place that people can hang out make friends grow a community that we're all proud of and you know that's one of the major goals of the channel so join the discord and be part of the community eh with all of that said chat oh and also if you ever miss a stream and you want to catch up on it i upload my vods onto youtube the link is down below in the about section on my twitch page as well although if i say that you're probably watching on youtube so you already found the channel anyways but i do upload my vods to youtube so you never have to worry about a stream permanently missed i am a week behind on the uploads i'll fix that this weekend but they do end up on that youtube channel eventually with all of that said chat let's go look for a raid target Boom. Um, how long has your ass been going? I'm gonna do a funny. I'm gonna make you stream longer. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and raid Law. She's one of my good uh, friends and uh, motto siblings, and she is playing Fields of Mysteria, which I have heard is uh Stardew Valley, but better, to be honest with you. So let's go show Law some love. If you could join me in a raid message as we head on over, that would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead and use that one if you aren't subbed. And if you are subbed, go ahead and use this one, eh? Raid message one if you aren't subbed. Raid message two if you are subbed. We're gonna go ahead on over to Lost. She is a good friend of mine and a fantastic streamer. She's playing Fields of Mystria. Chat, we will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. <laughs> when did they change the hearts to monkeys? Oh, that uh, you can set that if you have Twitch Prime or something. I don't know. You can set it in your settings. I just set it because I like monkeys. Either way, we're gonna go ahead on over to Lost. She's playing Fields of Mystria. Chat, we will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time with Tactical Breach Wizards. And I hope to see you all then. Until next time, y'all. Bye.